to pause recordings now. So, kind of valid, bruh. Listen to techno. Unfortunately, nah, bruh. It's time for the hive mind bits bracket. Uh, let me see if my stream deck wants to work today so I could clap. Maybe not. All right. Uh, it's time, bro. It's time. There's been a lot of, you know, a lot of people that wanted to see, you know, what the vibes were with this. I'm excited. It's a two hour video. So, which means it's probably gonna be three hours by the time we're done with it. Uh, so check it out, bro. This is gonna later, or I'll send Baby Father your way. Uh, maybe make it clap with no hands. You're finished. All right, bro. Now we got Riley hasn't been on ESPN's top I'm 10 I'm excited for these, bro. I'm excited. Show. What's up? You're watching Hive Mind, the most organic show on the internet. My name is Riley as I by my grass-fed co-host, Dignan. Who would say that? Dude, it was literally on the screen. Like, it was on screen. It was on screen. And today we're doing the most meta thing we could think to do on this channel. This is our Hive Mind Bits Bracket. So you guys have been asking for this one. DJ Grant, along with members of the Hive Mind Meme Page Cinematic Universe, have come together and selected their Hive Mind Meme Page Cinematic There's a there's a Hive Mind Meme Page Cinematic Universe. Four favorite Hive Mind bits. Today we're gonna decide what the best Hive Mind bit of all time is. Bracket. Only one can win. Comment your favorite Hive Mind bit in the comment section down below before we even honestly get to it. i don't know like i can't really think of any you know off top oh the clap no imagine imagine i press it right now oh, okay. it's so funny it is so funny if i pressed it right now and it didn't work and then it started clapping like 10 minutes later that would have been hilarious i kind of wish that did happen i don't know why it didn't before um, started and also this comes with an yeah, announcement the insane. launch of Hive Mind Shorts. shorts. Virtual and hey. real. The virtual Hive Mind Shorts will be posted on the Hive Mind Unlimited channel. They are edited by our very own Base Dignan. Let's go, Base Dignan. W Base Dignan. When did Base Dignan get signed, bruh? That's hard. I've been following him for a minute, bruh. Shorts. There's a very w limited Dignan. amount of Hive Mind Shorts. They're on the screen right now. They're available <laughs> on our website today only. Probably. Very Man. limited quantity. They will be shipped immediately. Uh, They're in our office ago, right now. HiveMindTV.com. Other than that, before right. we get into it, make sure you like the video subscribe all that other stuff that i usually say at the beginning of the videos join become a member get a knife next to your name thanks to all the members patreon and cameo links in description mm. let's get into the bits oh my god this is going to be grueling first matchup we've got okay. west side gun versus one. this one pops up in my recommended like once a week bruh boo, 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 boo. so quick to a pine tree <laughs> <laughs> a barbecue in a swimming pool <laughs> I walk around with my shoes tied. <laughs> shoes tied. I go to sleep in a shower cap. <laughs> I ate chicks mix for cereal. <laughs> it's always just saying stuff that really grabs your ear. No, Those are all him. real lines from his song. <laughs> Eating Skittles at a sushi restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> Told some charm to a fiend look like Phoebe Bridgers. Wow. I was really getting That's a good that one, bro. Right. I, I mean, it still gets me. No, it it still is, gets bro. me. A little less because I've seen it a bunch of times. But it's the first great bit that got me in hot water, too. Real hot mm. water. I remember. Twitter yeah. didn't like that one all the way. No, they didn't. Mm. They thought there was something going with. There's some extracurricular criticism <laughs> of West Side Gun going on. Yeah, I think they, yeah, they assumed I wasn't a fan and they just right. like, thought I heard it. it was like, funny guys say funny sounds in funny way. Let me mimic him. Yeah. Which is wrong. It was coming from a nice place. Oh, Twitter, bro. Yo, no. Twitter. Yo, I hate. I hate Twitter, bro. I, like, I hate Twitter, bro. They always be just take you. It's a horrible place, bro. People have been saying Twitter is, sucks and it's a cesspool forever, but it really is. And I feel like it's gotten worse lately. Like, I genuinely don't like going on Twitter now. Nothing but well by it. And it's just, we're just joking around. I mean, imagine getting mad after hearing somebody say eating Skittles at a sushi restaurant. Yeah. Like, come on. Literally. Oh. I don't remember this one. Just kill Edward on this one. Oh, I thought this was like a command. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. 
this is an artist. <laughs> yeah. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Because yeah. I've Yo. gotten... I, never mind. I, I, I know, this looks a lot like your emails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's this one? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, okay, what? God. You say so. So this was in a game where we okay. were guessing the album from the features, and the only feature on the album was J. Cole's alter ego, Kill Edward, right. which you were unfamiliar with. I mean, it's funny. That feels like, you know, middle of the road type bit. Yeah, me. that's our dynamic. Yeah. It's just our dynamic doing something normal. I think yeah. it was very funny. Yeah. And, you know, it was it looks funny, like but... Emails. That's great. It's great. Yeah. He was getting emails oh, no. as Kill Edward. I mean, it's a great little <laughs> moment, but it's what side gun. Yeah. Boom, 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 yeah. boom. That one has to take it, bro. Riley's Pikachu impression versus she's a walking banger. <laughs> I don't remember so any of those. So I just don't remember. They want to change the logo to Dogecoin. My dad was so confused when he went on Twitter. I know. I I saw that people said that that happened, and I was like, why would he do that? And then I saw that it actually happened, and I was like, oh, really? Use Twitter for alternative contact sport activities. Real. He's kept saying, why is this here? Why is this there? You Real. used to do a Pikachu impression that sounded like Barack Obama. What? I did? <laughs> yeah. Well, you thought you still. I think still do. I still yeah. do a Pikachu impression. Right. You still think it sounds like Pikachu. Let him hear it. <laughs> okay. Here he yeah. goes doing a Pikachu impression. <laughs> um, Pikachu? Uh, <laughs> Pokemon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Little yellow mouse. Yo. <laughs> Very cute. Sasha, Malia, yeah, Michelle. See, now, then, now you're naming Barack Obama's family. How's uh, <laughs> that Pikachu? Uh, Ash is my trainer. Uh, right, that's uh, Pikachu. Uh, Sasha, Malia. No! no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes. My wife, Michelle. Busy people get married. <laughs> Lightning bolt tail. Uh, we're all over the place, Riley. Uh, okay. Cute Pokemon. Get something. <laughs> okay. Those glitching I out. Still, I don't. It sounds like Pikachu to me. <laughs> I don't think people know how old this bit is either. This is before you were even on the show. Before I was born. But I just don't Crazy. like. I guess you're a good person to ask because you weren't around right. during this. But like that sounds like Pikachu, right? I don't know. I've never seen the show. Hive mind or mm. Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon. <Yeah. laughs> what? She's a banger. <laughs> she's a banger. No, she's a walking banger. <laughs> Some people are walking licks. They're easy to rob. Yeah. And they have stupid money on them. Yeah. Doja's a walking banger. She's also beefing with a 17-year-old from Stranger Things right now. <laughs> well, he should fucking watch his back. <laughs> so if I catch him slipping, I'll beat his ass for her. Yo. Seems, a, seems inappropriate, but sure. I will whip his dumb ass. <laughs> Literally Ja Morant. Okay. For Doja. Doja, all you gotta do is say the word. Okay. Noah Shep, what's his name? Noah Schnapp. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, she doesn't even gotta say the word. Your name's so stupid, I'll beat your ass myself. Yikes. <laughs> I'm not gonna shoot him. I'm just gonna... I'm not gonna go that far. I might shoot Adam. Who's Adam? Adam. <laughs> Who? Yeah, no. about? You were you saying I would shoot at him. Oh, <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and, I, at him. and I thought that I still, I legitimately thought he said I'll shoot at him, like a person <laughs> named Adam. Right. That Yo. one's better. Yeah. Than the it I is. It is. The Pikachu was all right. Funny but... about the Pikachu one is just a, another one of my standard impressions. You know? Yeah. If this was like classiest impressions, right. yeah. But I mean, that's what the difference between my West Side Gun and your Pikachu. Mine's based in comedy, and yours is based. In facts and logic, and almost mm. the magic of theater. Yeah, it's really it's about the, the art of the impression, the illusion. Uh -huh. If you kind of close your eyes and lean back in your chair, it feels as if you are there with Pikachu. She's a walking banger. Is better. Really? That's just a, like it I'm is, not gonna shoot him. Is like one of the funniest. I'm, okay, here's how I'm gonna go off of this. Right, I'm gonna go off of this based on which clip I would watch randomly if it popped up in my YouTube recommended. Because that has happened. A lot of random hive my clips have popped into my YouTube recommended. And they're always funny. So it's like, I'm just going off of those. Like, just the silence in between it, and then just, I'm not going to It still stands, too. That offer still stands for Doja. 17-year-old boy that you're talking about. It'll be 18 soon enough, and it'll earn that ass beating. <laughs> <laughs> Next, we got old-timers sing modern lyrics versus sweet semen raffle. I'm really happy you had to what? say that. Yeah. Holy smokes. Dare I say we got another New Yorker on our hands? Every time I hear music like that, I understand. Understand old people a little more. 
Yeah. Like, I get it. When yep. I hear music like that, I'm like, damn, I need to listen to more. I know I watched this video. Or shit like this. Yeah. yeah. Or, like, I'm always, like, reminded that, oh, they, they did have fun. They yeah. did party down. Like, mm. you hear it and you're like, it was just classy. I but definitely reacted down this. to that. Yeah, they're like, just snorted another line off her ass. <laughs> she came over to my house, had to hide my cum rags. Let them have it, boys. What did it be? This is the best show on the internet. Come on. She got a BBL. <laughs> I got a BB belt. <laughs> BBL and a BB belt there. Yeah, that's caught my stride a little yeah. bit. That's, that's hard. hard. That's yeah. hard. That's I hard. wish I was still that good at singing. Yeah, you've strayed away from your show tuny self. I know. Mm. It's a bummer. I need to get back there. You're, it's you're more reminiscent of Kurt Cobain and, you know, sure. more Bush, the guy from Bush. Bush, yeah. Bush yeah. 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 Such a wild Yeah, I can do that. Pink <laughs> Floyd. Who's that? Uh, it's a guy. Just one guy. Sweet. So three to two. Guy. Sweet. Sweet. Sweet, sweet semen. semen. <laughs> no. sweet without tain semen. When I say sweet, you, you say, say semen. semen. Sweet. Sweet. <laughs> sweet. <laughs> Come on, Jack Harlow fans. <laughs> <laughs> the lucky winner of tonight's raffle will get to taste a little of Jack Harlow's <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet semen. Caller number 44. Nah. Oh my god, it's real. <laughs> nah. It's just a little bit. <laughs> nah. Don't get greedy. <laughs> I like that you guys went from like a no live way. event to like a radio show kind of effortlessly. <laughs> but you literally can. You, all right, bro. <laughs> it was like, come on, say it with me. A raffle tonight, someone here. And then it was like, caller 44. <laughs> I don't know. I think about that all the time. I'm like, how did that work? Yeah. <laughs> For some reason, people still got it. But. COVID. What? COVID. COVID? Mm. Live events. It ruined live events. Oh, you know it went I mean? from live events to call it. Wow. Oh, wow. That was poignant. This one's kind of close crazy. to me. I feel like there's a little bit more of a spark I think it's the, the old timers, bro. It feels a little more classic. Yeah. But the other one makes me laugh arguably just as hard. I like the timelessness True. of you crooning BBL, BB belt. Just in a I, I think I think I have to give us an old timer off that line. The the BBL to BB belt line. Like, I could hear that in a, in a song now, like, unironically. You know what I mean? Real. Uh, it's invisible. It's in there, though. Off her ass, hiding your comrades okay. like the next class. Too, <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah. All right. Now we got Riley eats cat shit versus the last place I saw my kids. <laughs> <laughs> These are two of my favorites. So this is a tough first round matchup. You know, you can use floss for other stuff too. <laughs> is that a wink? Uh, you know you can use floss. I know I watched this video too. Floss for a bunch of other stuff too. Just gotta trust us, yeah, nah. I did not. I don't use it for anything, so. You don't floss? Mm -mm. That's why your breasts smell like cat shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's because I eat cat shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. I have IBS. People need to stop with like the criticizing of my diet. So what? I eat cat shit. <laughs> so what? That's what I have to do. You eat burgers and all the McDonald's and the fries Yo. and stuff. You eat pizza. And you eat all your favorite foods. Meatloaf. Uh -huh. Like that sort of stuff. And I have to eat cat <laughs> shit. <laughs> <That's so laughs> I never knew that. I can't eat anything else. I have IBS. Yes, it stands for yes. irritable bowel syndrome, but also for I be shitting. And you. <laughs> yeah, I have for real? Because the doctor said so? No, my friend who's an herbalist, he, he put me onto it. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, tastes so bad. Oh, bad, bad, bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I have to do it, uh -huh. and I feel great. <laughs> uh -huh. You yeah. look great. Whatever you're doing's working. <laughs> oh, that's a little weird. <laughs> It's turning you yeah. into a cat. Champ you know what you eat. Okay. <laughs> You're eating so much cat shit, you might be turning into a cat. That's what people say to me out at the restaurants. <laughs> <laughs> at the cat shit restaurants. <laughs> Go to What's on the special today? Yikes. Uh, the lemon pepper cat shit today. Yeah. I eat at Petco. <laughs> I know, and that's what I tell them at Petco. I go, I have IBS, I have to eat some of the ketchup. <laughs> Do you have barbecue ketchup? You don't drink. No, the commitment is actually good. I wash it down. I'm not just what? Catch it, no Bev? No thanks. <laughs> no Bev. That is one of my favorites of all time. No, that's good. That's I, I haven't good. seen that one in a very long time. Me either. I cannot lie. I forgot it's a about real that. balancing act by you. I feel like you just keep saving the bit and logic <laughs> of whatever insane false reality you're <laughs> It's really like I forgot how much 
I really I broke during that. Yeah. I just laughing pretty much the whole time. Like, I can't do it without laughing, but it somehow makes it a little bit. Either way, that's not one of really my makes it better. Bits. Last place I saw my kids, <laughs> Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I remember this one though. Anyone this seen one's them? hilarious. I went that way. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, that's classic dad that doesn't want to be with his kids. Yeah, I mean, that's Not great. Yeah. That is a classic. That's classic right there. It's funny. On I don't know. I love that moment, but I don't think it's enough to stand up. It's not, bro. Yeah. I eat at Petco. Like, he, like the pause before I eat at Petco, bro. I mean, Come on. And you don't get that from you a lot. Peak comedy. You don't get you breaking character. Man. Right. And at two, all. you talking about cat shit. That's just a rare occurrence. Yeah, yeah, it is. Now we got Sandra Bullock played in the NFL versus <laughs> What's That Sound? It's all like clear as day in hindsight. Hindsight is 2020. Oh wait, I guess hindsight's 2021 now. I gotta yeah. get used to writing that on my papers. Yeah. Well, no, <laughs> hindsight is 2020. Last year, hindsight was 2019. <laughs> I thought hindsight was that movie with Sandra Bullock. Oh, I love her. You know, it's a true story. Yeah, Sandra Bullock played in the NFL for 12 years. <laughs> a lot of people know that. She had a cannon up in her arm. And as a Yo. running back, too. I mean, she was a big fan of the flea flicker. I mean, a lot of people don't, people don't notice this, too, but, like, running back, I mean, average two to three years in the league. You really get beat up. And Sandra Bullock was in there for 12 years. She goddamn near Frank Gore level. I mean, 12 years in the MLB is not like Sandy Koufax. Yo, bro, I ain't reading all that. He only did 12 years for the Dodgers. But... When you're in the NFL, I mean, you're getting beaten, broken. You're like a rag doll out there. Just getting absolutely mm. worn up. And Sandra Bullock really stood her ground. And was a no, that is not, run. That is not like, stand. It wasn't a speedster. Didn't hit the outside. Never ran all. out of bounds. Always finished the run. Always fell forward. Took always hits, yeah. Yeah, led with her helmet. Like a LaDainian mm. Tomlinson type character. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like a LaDainian Tomlinson, Adrian Peterson hybrid. You know, hybrid. Yeah. Mm. Remember what Bill Belichick said about her? No. That bitch could run. <laughs> <laughs> That's an all <old> <laughs> My favorite part of it is because this one was swept out of thin air too. Not another one, not no planning at all. No, this. Blindside becomes a true story. Not only that, like the Blindside. Also, it's hindsight. We never <laughs> say blindside. We just say hindsight. It's like one of those so oh, yeah, yeah, word association it. things. And it's, where I say it's that movie. And it's not the premise of that movie's true. It's just that movie is football related. Sandra Bullock is the lead, Plus and then, so that just okay. gets taken into. Nope, that's a true story. Sandra Bullock played twelve. <laughs> Years in the league. Yeah. And my favorite part of the whole bit is when you just go, yep, big fan of the flea flicker, because you had said she was a running back, and Great says she's got a can of an arm. It's the way you merge those two positions is go, yep, she was a big fan of the flea flicker, because she was great as a running back, too. That little part is hilarious to me. Yeah. And we're just, like, throwing random, like, we say Ladanian Tomlinson. It's not even really a <laughs> <laughs> Even when I was watching this, I was like, what do you say that? It's Tomlinson. You bring up Sandy. Sandy <laughs> Kofax, yeah, Dodgers pitcher. What's that sound? Is there a clicking sound? Yeah. Nope, it's alright. Nope, nope, nope. No one's in there, buddy. Come on. Don't even. Nope. <laughs> Stay right here. Nope. Riley, get back. Get back over here. Bro. No, Shh. get back over They're here. You're fucking listening. <laughs> Stop. Ow! You're hurting. Now I remember this one. You're hurting me. Hey. hey. Stop. I think I think for me this one's funnier because I don't know much about like sports. I've never been a sports guy, bro. You're hurting me. Ah! Get fucking listening. <laughs> Seriously, dude. No one's fucking listening, man. Oh, it was just a squirrel. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What? What? I, okay, so I'm not allowed to drink before the video. Anymore. <laughs> no, let's get in the video. Paranoid you. Yeah, yeah. Also, that one looks Quite like you guys are in 4K. I was gonna reference that. So, yeah. people all thought we got a new camera or something for this <laughs> video. It's the one video. It's uh, it's the first Fiverr video, mm. I think. But mm. we just filmed with the windows open. Mm. The blinds. Yeah. So, like, the natural light mixed with our LED lights made it look like for some reason looked clear and looked like a video game depth like it looks crazy i don't know sandra bullock it's sandra b they gotta do that more versus looking up a song name you know it's interesting when you think about kim bro she got yay but now he's just somebody that she used to know ladies and gentlemen riley savage from hide mine stop it you guys are too full time wordplay thing going yeah, on. That's it's just crazy. one of the top couple one-liners, you know. It crazy. is what it is. You just get it. It's a little bite. That sets the bar. Get off your phone, Riley. We're I'm looking it. for a fucking song name. Okay. <laughs> Can I look for a fucking song name? I was just looking up for a song name. Is he gonna cry or I go on Spotify? I look up a song name for me to write down. <laughs> yeah. 
What are you doing filming me? <laughs> I'm looking up a sign name too. That looks like you're filming me. Okay, zoom in on this. Yeah. I'm literally not. This isn't it's funny. Cry. <laughs> <laughs> like, Wait. Like crying. Like, Yo. What are you guys doing? Yeah. All I was doing was looking up a song name on Spotify so that I could write it down. I don't remember the name of the songs all the time. Dude, I'm streaming it. Like, Yo. Like, yeah, someone said he's going through puberty in reverse. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is this live? No. Oh, guys. It's just, it's live. just looking up a song. It's a lost one. Respect for Ryan. Guys, yeah. I don't really understand what's going on. <laughs> yeah, that one got it. All right, um, so I was just looking up a song, but then we can. That's cool. Keep it moving. <laughs> that is that one got it. That one got it. That one got it. Great job by Ben. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah fantastic work yeah. by him. He says he's going through puberty <laughs> in reverse. <laughs> that is fucking yeah. That's great. Yeah. I don't think it could beat Kimbra Got Yay though, but I love it can, that. Bro. It's a very different style. It's a good one liner, but like, come on, we've heard some crazy one liners before, you know? So I, I feel like that. One one, like it's up there, but I don't think it beats the song name. That's kind though. of like the two styles of a hive mind bit. Yeah. Like you get the very dry one liner. It's not like a laugh out loud, but it's like a whoa. Yeah. And then yeah. the other one is just improv. <laughs> Did yeah. your voice genuinely crack and no. then you just ran with it? No, I thought yeah. to do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> My voice doesn't just crack. Like oh, it doesn't. This is the most arbitrary <laughs> deciding bracket. I feel like we are like the last people who should decide which the best bits are. Yeah, I want mm. other people to do it. Right. I, uh, be more fun. I mean, we'll post it. Yeah. Everybody should do their own, you know? Alright, now we got my daddy was a door dasher versus the best pickup lines ever. Kids are gonna grow up and be like, yeah, my daddy was a door dasher. <laughs> That's crazy to me. Yeah, you know, my parents they worked really hard. My daddy would door dash when he had time. <laughs> my mom had a depop. <laughs> It was Not big as good year when my daddy won that Fortnite tournament. That was super special for us. We got to buy an above ground pool. <laughs> good honest work. Uh, we're just kind of regular folk. My daddy made his living selling usernames on Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> my mama, she was a bang energy girl. <laughs> Follow the CEO. Every summer when we'd visit my grandparents, we'd put our house up on Airbnb. <laughs> <laughs> that one's good in a that way that even if it wasn't our show, right. like it's not real. just a high. Mind that one got bit. it. It's like pretty good writing yeah. in general. Yeah. yeah, the southern voice too. Yeah, that, that southern voice talking about really my cadence. Yep. That's what we like doing. You know why they call me former vice president Dick Cheney? They don't call you that. Because I'm a dick. I'm not nice, especially to the people I go out with. That being said, give me a chance. I think you're attractive. How's that for a pickup line? That didn't mm. feel like a pickup line. It seemed brutally honest, which I guess is good, but then I don't think it's gonna work. Get ready, sugar plum fairy. Like the economy, I'm about to go down on myself <laughs> in front of you to show off my flexibility, not only physically, but my time, my schedule. Due to my work, I'm I'm pretty flexible and like I can kind of work my way into your schedule. Yeah, I mean I've never yeah. heard a pickup line like that before. Do I look like ravioli to you? Because I'm full of stuff that you can have. <laughs> Wow. I stand by that as a good pickup line, and I that sit was and good, learned bro. I'm related to Dick Cheney. Are you really? Yeah, distant relative. We share Yo. a distant relative. No way. I swear to God, and Cheney name is in my family tree as well. What What do you mean? Like the Cheney name. Like if I go back like oh, 13 right. grams. Yeah. 13 grams? Yeah. <laughs> if I go back like 13 grams. What does that mean? <laughs> what grandfathers or grandmothers? Grams. Oh. <laughs> if I go back 13 of them, John's Cheney name appears. Bruh. Last time I heard you talking about 13 grams, I didn't see it for three. I don't think so. I don't think I watch all high mind vlogs, nah. I don't think so. I've been watching like their regular like these types of videos for a long time, but I don't think I watch vlogs back in the day. Honestly. I think my daddy's door dasher is better. It is better. But it's close. Yeah, it's close. There's it's some better. laugh out loud it moments is. in that pickup line. That's funny. Video. We've got the Probably goddamn son of a Austin. bitch that killed Steve Irwin <laughs> versus my name's Dignan. Here we go. Mmm. The goddamn son of a bitch that killed Steve. <laughs> Good for it's nothing. So Bottom dwelling ocean creek. Bye. That is the motherfucking stingray. Mm. God, I despise these little vermin. I wish they'd all be gone. <laughs> this one's so cute. He's got a little pinky. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. Stingrays are the ops. Don't forget that. <laughs> they are. They, they took one of the greatest men of our generation. I love they that did. it's cartoon puns and he's supposed to be guessing who it is and it's just the imagery of it. The fact that it's mm. a stingray with a binky in its mouth. <laughs> yeah. Like it's not, not like a sting. Like it doesn't look it's bad. Not like, like tough with yeah, a cigar. It's not like, like tough or anything. It's just the <laughs> idea of the stingray just enraged him right away. Unfortunately. Man, I really wanted to run a perfect game. I know you did, dude. It would have been so fun. It. Well, maybe next time you'll take the performance enhancers I offer you before the game. Well, those have crazy side effects. So what? <laughs> they literally make you feel drunk for like three weeks. Not so is. what? I mean, I can't even function on those things. They're dissociatives, dude. My name's Dignan. From now on, you're gonna call me Dignan. I'm gonna call you Dignan? That's my name now. Dude, the performance enhancer, you gotta stop with them. They seriously change you, man. So what? Now my name's Dignan. Dude, you got this zero points. You got one. I'm not gonna lie, this one might have to win it. This one this one might have to just take the whole thing, bro. The point in one of the games <laughs> recently, like, the, the performance enhancers aren't even working, and now your name's Dignan? <laughs> just because my name used to be Graydon doesn't mean I don't have the right to change it right now to Dignan. Dignan, you gotta stop taking those performance <laughs> answers. I mean, uh, I just popped a few more. When? <laughs> like no. Who's Dignan? That's Dignan right there in the video. <laughs> this whole time. You, you didn't do that. <laughs> I'm popping a few more How right now. How are you getting <laughs> Are you teleporting into your brain? Oh, oh, there was another <laughs> one. Dude, oh. I am suspicious about I these. At all. The other I don't day, think bro. they're working or they're real. Dignan has four. I have four. <laughs> One of these is a bit, and the other one is just pretty self-explanatory. How, like, in that moment, Graydon says his name is Dignan, and then, like, yeah. Dignan and Graydon are obviously two different people. Right. Literally. And it was just easier for me to kind of introduce myself that way. Totally. Mm. Not really any, like, ambiguity to it. No. It's just Real. kind of, like, clear-cut, <laughs> yeah. this is what happens on the show, and everybody kind of gets it. You know I, know will I, mean? I will say what's funny about that is your little shake of the head. Graydon says his name's Dignan, and you go... You're like, no. No, no. I go, I, I go, what? Like, it's like very much me being like, what did you just say? Like, what, is that, what is that name? Hey, look at us now, pal. I just popped a few more. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's not. It's going to be dig now. Not for me, yeah. it's Irwin. Really? Yeah, I'd like really? to see Irwin one more. It's too iconic. What do you do? It, it, it has to go. Grip. I'll take a dig <laughs> now. Now we got a modern favorite, Steve-O impression versus getting your mouth spit in. <laughs> you want to hear my Steve-O impression I've been working on? Hey, guys. <laughs> Maxwell wanted to shoot me in the head with a 50 caliber rifle, I knew we had to take it up another notch. And after Bam killed his whole family for Jackass 14, I knew we'd have to go wild. So this time, I attached dynamite to my ball sack. I mean, that shit blew my little boys to smithereens. I mean, for Jackass 2, I was on crack cocaine. I was listening to Metallica in my trailer nonstop on a 24 hour loop. Nah. And so when Spike Jones Low suggested key. that I raw dogged his wife, I just had to. <laughs> Come on, man. I was filling condoms with poop. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, that one low key got it, bruh. Yeah. I remember this one. <laughs> this is genuine crying laughter from me. There's some that was parts hilarious. in there I wish I wouldn't have said. The Spike Jones raw dog his wife. Part. That and Bam killing his family. Yeah. Right. Yeah, sure. Yeah. But I was going for shock. Yeah, shock humor. Nah, for real. But when you're referencing Steve O, you could have just said real things like the condom with poop. That's mm. enough shock right there. And it that is. actually happened. Yeah, the three parts that made me laugh the hardest were smithereens. Yeah. <laughs> Saying the word smithereens. 24 hour loop. Yeah. Saying how loop gets me and then I'm still in condoms with poop. Those three parts still, when I watch it, Bro. it's like, how? It's it's like like little little no oh yeah, what? my little boys to smithereens. Yeah, so he has to I... do, we have to, we have to figure out a way to get him to do like a, a viewer, you know, like we need to figure out a way to get him to want to like react to viewer videos on his podcast and just send that clip in, bro. I'll give the behind the That'd scenes be of that, by the way. That was filmed just straight up before the video. Yeah. And I just <laughs> threw it in a random part in the video. Like it's, you can tell there's, we're not playing any game. We're not right. doing anything. It's just us sitting there joking around before the video. And you said that, but we had it filmed. So I just threw it in a random part. When I do the classic <laughs> pre-video kind of make sure the desk is clear at the end of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's how I can tell. Like, 
like the second I did that, I was like, oh yeah, this is before we even started. We do about <laughs> like probably five minutes of random warm up before the videos, mm -hmm. and that's sometimes yeah. what I'll put on Patreon for our Patreon members have seen some of it. But I need to do more of like putting that out there. But yeah. are people actually into getting their mouth spit in? Yeah, I'm into that. <laughs> Real. Yeah. Like, uh, yes. Is it, you're not in the bit. No, not a bit. Are Lock you into it. that? I put my hands yeah, up. Really hungry, but not um. Yeah, that's 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 what that's when I get to like watching Food Network, like like you know what I'm saying, a lot of food videos, like TV shows, like people traveling, just eating food or like reviewing food and stuff like that. You feel me? It's great. But yeah, no, Quadeca always just like I feel like he's kind of just down for whatever with the bits, man. Really? It's Are you great. not? No, not yeah, just absolutely anybody. not. I mean, no, yeah, that's to be the right. Person. Of course, of course, I understand that that it's something you do with your partner and it's right. like an intimate thing. But to me, yeah, that like is if like, I was at a NASCAR Allo show or whatever, and yeah. he was like, no, I did it, I would just like do it. I'd just be there. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a foreign, repulsive concept to me, and I don't no, mean to keep shame. I'm not trying to do that. It's I just crazy. don't. I don't understand it one bit. You couldn't shame me out of it. I love it. Three women in their lives have spit in my mouth. <laughs> Upon request, uh, it has to be. That doesn't come up naturally. Yeah, it wasn't like it wasn't like I was like, "Hey, spin my mouth." It was <laughs> oh, yeah. the, the heat of the moment. Heat oh, no. of the moment. <laughs> but you spit in my oh, mouth. Oh, wow! Nah. Did you swallow it all like dramatic? Like you look in her eyes and like swallow yes, it. Yes, absolutely. And then she's oh, like, "Oh my god, oh, that shit. is." Do you like spit in your mouth? Really? <laughs> I'm the I only one. This is this you're the only one in this room. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> Times have changed. Yeah, you're into that now. And Ben has swag now. I know. Ben Yo. looks way different. Yeah, it looks like we got him out of school. Like yeah. We signed him out of school <laughs> for that video. But he's just raising his <laughs> hand. It's <laughs> so no, funny. Bro. My hands were up. My hand was up. <laughs> Grant's reaction, too, is really good. Shit, it's amazing. <laughs> Steve -o. Yes. Now we got it DJ is. Khaled can't father his child versus Graydon misses his dead grandma. Oh DJ God. Khaled doesn't follow the rules of music making. I don't think we have to follow the rules of this game when guessing his album. He's like, listen, I invited four people over and they made a song and now it's my song. <laughs> we are the best. <laughs> there are moments though that I'm just inspired by DJ Khaled for like that quick like flash in a pan second. Oh, I'm yeah. just like, I kind of get it. Like it's just, mm. you need a guy like that. He's yeah. just doing it and there's nothing beneath that. You know yep. what I mean? He's just on the surface doing it and yep. then that's it. He doesn't know how to play the guitar. I'm not even sure he knows how to father that child. <laughs> I'll go that far. I'll go that far. He's the type of guy to take all this. I'm the father of Assad. And really, it's like the nanny. That's the guy. Yeah, that and like all the time he's watching TV. They're like, Dad, I'm hungry. He's like, I don't know how to make breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, just with that, let's get a key. Let's get a key for today. We got, bro. DJ Khaled once said, it's important to shape up your hedges. It's like getting a haircut. Real. Real. Is he guys the only famous musician I could take place of? Real. I feel like there's a few that I could, to be honest. I probably wouldn't want to, though. That's a classic, too. I kind of forgot about how that ended. Yeah. I don't know how to make breakfast. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. I yeah. feel like we had a lot of DJ Khaled banter. Yeah. Honestly, if there's one of the High Mind compilation channels, by the way, if you see any of those pop up, subscribe to them. We don't like we don't claim any of them. Nope. So if they are monetized, they will make money off of the compilations. Somebody make a DJ Khaled compilation of us talking about him because it is developed over the nah, years. Nah, that over would under be hilarious. Minutes. Under, probably under, 10. Okay. <laughs> eight to 10 minutes, I would Real. say, of DJ DJ Khaled conversation. Maybe mm. know, it might be 12. I feel like 12 is a, a good line. It is, it is, yeah. it is. Grandma's hands used to work, used to work on Sunday morning. God, Bill Withers? Yeah. Fuck, that's always fucking fire, bro. <laughs> <laughs> if I could only touch my grandma's hands one more time, I really mean that. I miss her. She had a nice touch. What is funny? She had paper skin because she was old and you could rip it open and see all of her tendons. That's <laughs> fucked up. I miss her, man. My gammy. Such a sweet, sweet prince. Sus. Quit laughing about it. I miss my grandma. My yeah, gammy. It's such a unique mix of sincerity and like vulgarity. Right. It's, like, it's like you like don't know how. Like I, I'm having trouble It's coming from like a very sweet place. Yes, it's it like you don't know how. Now I'm sad. Oh, that's sweet. He just like 
can't resist making <laughs> disgusting visual jokes yeah. during oh. a sad moment where he's, <laughs> he's like mourning the loss of his grandmother. It's unbelievable stuff. It's sad all around. Yeah, it's sad on two levels. Yeah, it's sad all around. It's sad for his grandma and sad for him. Well, it's not really Yikes. sad for his grandma. Why? She has since passed. Sure. No longer feel emotions. Uh, well, yeah, sure. I guess sad for the loved ones of his grandma yes. and sad for him Real. for not being able to process anything serious. Yes. Real. I think it's funny. I think, I, I think it's better than the DJ Khaled. I think, uh, I think DJ yeah, Khaled's funny. It, it's more complex, and I favor complexity. Do you? Mm. Yes. Oh, you wouldn't guess that from how you operate in regular life. The more though. confusing, the better. <laughs> That's why I like movies people say they don't understand. I claim to understand them. Now we got Daddy's mm. Fancy Jesus Boat Christ. versus Dignan Steals Riley's Password. <laughs> I'm so glad we get to watch DFB. I think Daddy's Fancy Boat is the oldest bit in this video. This mm. is the right way to wear oh, glasses. Oh, wow. Groups, you know? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> like, you know how sometimes if you're, like, checking somebody out or you're, like, trying to see something that you can't believe, you take your sunglasses and you're like, huh? Just go a little, like a notch, like one rung lower. You just go, huh? Those perfect <laughs> pairs where you like knock them off with like a head nod, you know? Oh yeah, I know. Catch it on your chin. Yo. Or if you're, if you're, uh, if your your daddy's fancy boat is 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 going, <laughs> <it's> going too <laughs> fast. <laughs> it's a bumpy ride on daddy's fancy boat. <laughs> <laughs> DFB. I thought we'd never bring this up again. <laughs> Yo. I told you. All right. Yo. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> What's the next joke? The next picture for Josie. Whoa, you cat. <laughs> this is an interesting angle too. What are you laughing now? <laughs> First thing I'm thinking is like, oh, it's like when you got your cat on Daddy's pants. <laughs> okay. <Yo. laughs> Definitely looks like a stray cat. Oh, Jesus Christ, dude. The perfect hat. <laughs> it's a perfect hat for a ride on Daddy's pants. <laughs> The hardest we've ever <laughs> laughed, really, on camera. It's so weird, removed from context. It's like, I feel like you Not had to be real. watching us at the moment to understand why that was that funny. Because, like, just right now, it's Not low that. key. Like, it felt like an inside joke that just made it to the video, and, you know, it was hilarious. But it's not that funny. Shout out Josie, though. Oh, we were no. a much smaller channel at the moment, and everybody kind of just rallied around this daddy's fancy boat narrative. Like, for the next, like, ten videos, it's all anybody was saying was, like, Yikes. daddy's fancy boat, daddy's fancy boat. It's like a moment, you know? Yikes. My favorite part is the cat part. Just like the... <laughs> <laughs> ah, I meant to bring this up to you the other day. I was walking into the gas station on Tuesday. Uh -huh. And a guy stopped me outside of it. And he seemed like kind of a little bit out of it, but in kind of a wise way. And he was like, I have something to tell you, sir. And I said, oh, yeah. Your co-host, he's stealing money behind your back. No. Yeah, do you have anything, no. do you know anything about no. that? He definitely doesn't sound wise. He sounded, I mean, listen, he sounded like a wizard. How did he sound? <laughs> like this, it was almost like he had some divine wisdom from the past. He didn't give you any details, did he? No, he just kind of he left that said... up for you to He actually poofed into a bunch of smoke. <laughs> yeah, he did. Yeah. Really? Well, he vaped a lot and then walked out, I think. Well, I don't think it is stealing money. I think it's like, it's not theft if I know your password. And I, I don't. But yeah. if I did, it's not, it's like saying, I can't steal something from your house if I have all the keys. That, no, you can. If I copy all the keys off your ring and then I have my own keys, it's Yo. not really stealing. It is stealing. Yeah. How? Yo. <laughs> You're taking something that's not yours. Your password is can't have peanuts, man. Six 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 nine nine nine. Sorry. That's not that obvious. Why is that so obvious? You can't have peanuts. What sixty nine's funny, and the devil number is also funny, and plus Juice World. It did, didn't seem like you wanted to keep people out. I can't believe you guessed it. It was my third guess. Do you want to know my first two? Yes. Prettiestmustache.com. Hello world, it's me, Riley. That was a ridiculous, super long. I don't even think it would. Second, Second guess. Honda Element, dude. Super chillaxin 420 blaze me. Okay, well, that was super <laughs> obvious. That was your old pet. Yeah, it's like my old password. That was yeah. your Facebook Yo. Pet. Well, I'm not stealing. End of story. And you got to quit hallucinating at the gas station. I still don't Yo. understand really the legal system over here. Pretty concrete, you know, just kind of if something's not yours and you take it, that's stealing. That's like a mm. public access kind of thing for me. It's like if you're in a park, anything can go down, right? What does that mean? <laughs> like if I catch you in the park, in the public park, right? And let's say you're lacking. Sure. Anything <laughs> can go 
slow down, right? That's like what the public what? space is for. No, the public space does not mean there are no rules. If your window's open, it means that room that the window's attached to is a public space and anything can go down. No, that's not, <laughs> not at all. See, I grew up in Lithuania, so I'm still kind of adapting to a lot of these American laws. You grew up in Lithuania? Yeah. This is the first time I'm hearing of this. Yeah, until I was 13, 14. Really? Whatever drinking age is there. That's when I had to leave. I started to develop a bit of a problem. Okay, well, yeah, Yo. the rules here are like, if it's somebody's house, that's their house, you can't go in it. If you're in a public place, you still have to obey all the rules. You know? Even if you're lacking? Yeah. You can't just like shoot, stab, or rob anybody <laughs> just because they're in public. In the park. Doesn't matter where they are. Park, street, restaurant. All alley. The, alley. Like alley can happen. No, nope, right? alley, same rules. Alley's good? No. Whatever you say, man. I'm not sure. You're not, you're not a lawyer. I'm not. I'm not a lawyer, but. Yeah. I'm going to check up on that later. What do you want to do here? <laughs> I, uh, I don't know. Nostalgia wants to say DFB. I'm going to go Dignan Steals Rally's password. I think it's a better comedy. I think, yeah. better I think the password aged better just, just because of the timing. You know what I mean? DFB, like, that's a moment. We shouldn't even know about this. You know, this is stuff that should be shared amongst the OG hive mind viewers only, you know? So, I think it's the, the password, DFB bro. Is, is a classic, yeah. but it's not that funny. Grant? Yeah, I'm gonna take DFB too. It's not, like I said, it's not as funny, but it's like the first ever real hive mind bit. Yeah, that's that's probably true. Shout okay. out that old desk you guys used to yeah. work at. Yes. Yeah, we smashed it and we have pieces of it, if anybody wants them. Bob Dylan vapes now <laughs> versus Southern Life Advice. Did you see that Post Malone said that he smokes 40 to 60 cigarettes a day and at, at, its, at a certain point smoked 85 in one day? One of his Yikes. biggest role models, Bob Dylan, uh -huh. famously did an interview in the 70s, like not about the amount of cigarettes, but they asked him the same thing and he said three to four packs, which is right in that range. So he's, mm. he's following in his footsteps. Yeah. yeah. Like, He's just doing what the, the greats before him did. And you know, Bob Dylan actually vapes now. <laughs> yeah, his friends are mad that he stopped smoking Newports at the Folk Festival. He went electric. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, see, usually, I mean, listen, my bars are, like, good, but this is right Yo. up his alley. I mean, this is, like, his favorite <laughs> stuff. I'm going to bring in that into the fold. And so, hence, the kissing of the, the wrist, the kissing of the hand, as if I'm some sort of royalty. Usually, you just roll your eyes. This is a whole different thing. Bob Dylan went electric at the Newport Folk Festival. Yeah. <laughs> People were upset. Imagine a time where you'd be upset with someone using electric guitar. And uh, Newport Yo. is a type of cigarette. cigarette yeah. And vapes are electric. There we go. Fuck yeah, Riley. Yeah, you know Crazy. what I'm saying? It's like kind of a quadruple entendre. Crazy. <laughs> Still, my favorite part of that bit is always going to be, hence the kissing of the wrist <laughs> yeah. and the kissing of the hand. <laughs> They're so close together. <laughs> kissing of the wrist and <laughs> the kissing of the hand. Yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. <laughs> two, two separate types two of two kissing. Separate things. Yeah. I don't ever mean life with guys stop pissing all over his legs. Stop pissing in the toilet. <laughs> like my pappy always said, he said, you got, there comes a time in every man's life where you gotta stop brushing his teeth with honey and start using toothpaste. That's <laughs> you're gonna have to grow up and stop rubbing chocolate all over your body every morning when you wake up. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Just put on food and go to work. <laughs> <laughs> Ant Hill to watch Chamber for nipples. <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, just really wanted to participate. Just one. Just yeah. one. Just really one. That was good. That was good. Ant Hills are like Jesus' nipples. <laughs> See, I, mean, I like this because it's not a return of like the Midwesterners. My daddy's a door dasher yeah, voice. Different voice. Yeah, not this, for real. This voice is completely <laughs> different. I've really ever heard you do that. <laughs> a few times. It's so special. A southern guy with a lisp. It's like reminiscent of Bobby Boucher. You know yeah. What I mean? It's like very Waterboy-esque in a way. Mm. It kind of reminds me of like a Zach Galifianakis character. Yeah, or okay. Something, you know? yeah. <laughs> Saying Pappy. Yeah, Pappy. My Pappy always said. <laughs> and just that, like, you're giving life advice for something no one else is doing. Is not for real. And I'm just breaking so heavily the entire. Like, I'm just like, oh, I'm gonna work. <laughs> that part where I say that, I was just dying laughing. I don't know. Yeah, that's yourself. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. That's a clear cut winner for me. Really? Yeah. Oh, that one's so funny. Oh, yeah. it's so that like slapdash, it. though. It just kind of like <laughs> rain. Random. It just like happens for a second. I feel like the Bob Dylan one is like, that's a way better bit. Huh? We'll have to kick it to Grant. I'll take the Bob Dylan vapes now bit. Okay. Rest in peace to that beautiful Southern character. Now we got Riley hasn't been on ESPN's <laughs> top 10 plays versus the Diggy show. Wow. Not taking a point. Humble too. Humble and smart. I'm probably not even in the top 10 most humble guys though. Oh, for real? 
No, honestly, for that one, I'm probably not even in the top, like, I don't know, 250 most humblest. No! Be ridiculous. I'm probably not even in the top 10 ESPN Sports Center plays of the week. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're probably not, dude. You don't play any professional sports, let alone any amateur. Don't ones. rub it in, dude. I'm already <laughs> not in the East ESPN Sports Center top plays of the week, and now you're here telling me that I don't even play professional sports, dude. You don't even Yo. e-sport. Read the room, dude. I'm not doing well. I mean, I've never even seen you catch a baseball. Stop talking <laughs> about sports. You're dead. When I'm down. <laughs> your dad had to donate like $20,000 to your high school just to keep you on the basketball team. And still they made you the water boy. I mean, <laughs> that's fucked up. I just not talking about it, dude. I'm not even sorry. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> Why would you be in Sports Center's top 10 plays? Dude, I don't know. I did the dishes like super fast last week. I thought, I thought that had a chance. Like my roommates all filmed it. And it was Yo. like really good, but like, <laughs> I don't know. I think maybe they didn't get the tape. I don't know where you're supposed to submit them. It could just be that it got to the wrong P.O. box or like, <laughs> maybe next week. I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know, dude. Is your happiness hinging on this? I don't know. <laughs> I just need something like that. Like Sports Center top 10 or like, Yo. Uh, I don't know. Guinness Book of World Records. <laughs> just like something cool has to happen at some point. It's been so long. I mean, can I be at least be on Tosh.0 oh or something? The show's still on? Yeah. Oh, holy shit. Yo. I watch it all the time, dude. Can I be on fucking Ridiculousness? ridiculousness? <laughs> that show's still on? The top 10 Ridiculousnesses? Yo. I just want to be on the top 10 Ridiculousnesses. Even that would be fine. Yeah. But it's just like ESPN Sports like, would be the best. Yeah, no, this one you can't even skateboard. I can try. <laughs> Wow. That's a long one. That's a good one, though. Yeah. Really committed yeah. to being sad. The brim of the hat getting like a little lower. Nah, for yeah, real. Like it like, like, like goes over my face. <laughs> that was something. That's something good's gotta happen. <laughs> Ooh, dude, my stomach might be too much. Go. Well, I'm not doing it. There's nothing to do. Go to the hospital. <laughs> Get it figured out. My stomach's rumbling. You want me to go figure it out? You want me to go to the hospital mid-video because my stomach's rumbling? Yo. I'd rather you do that than die on us unexpectedly. This <laughs> 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 me on YouTube. Hi, it's Dignan. You're watching the Diggy Show, and we don't <laughs> care no more. That's a good intro. That's a good spin-off. I yeah. like that. Yeah, if lucky. my stomach gets to be too much, and I got to go to the hospital mid-video, we can always kick it to the Diggy Show. <laughs> and today's guest, a live crocodile. And I'm like. Ah! So each episode, I'm just let loose into a room with a different wild animal. <laughs> Today's guest, 14 mongooses. <laughs> I believe it's yeah. mongoose. <laughs> no. We got so yeah. petty at the end. I go, no, it's not. <laughs> I think my favorite part is still <laughs> a little like arm motion is crazy. I don't know, bro. It's like kind of, it's all right. That's it's like, all right. It's like a fine bit. Yeah, it's, it's not cool. Center top 10. No. Which I top 10 my boy. On what? I know you finally got on. Or you, I mean, this you got on, even funny to joke about. I mean, you got on not top 10, so whatever. It's close enough. What's sad about this entire situation is even that would be awesome, but yeah. it didn't happen. <laughs> Don't joke about it. I watch every single day, three or four times, just to see if it's different. <laughs> yeah. Top 10, not top 10. Top 10 ridiculousnesses. Someone sent me something that looked like you were in there. Guinness Book of World Records. I order yeah. a new one. Every, single day. Ripley, every believe day. It or not. Believe it or not, I'm not in that book either. <laughs> Yo. Listen, I don't want to hear any jokes about that sort of thing because I get it. It's become like a bit in the community, whatever, right. the whole thing. But it's like, that's not something that I take lightly. Like, that's something I truly want with my life. And maybe someday I'll get there, but not with you guys all praying on my downfall this way. I just thought I saw you. That's my bad. Total mistake. Now we got Yo. Nardbar interviews Graydon versus mm. This Isn't Me. Okay. A coveted moment of any artist's career. And you are Graydon? Sammy, your home address is one two five six. <laughs> Jesus, how'd you know that? Well, you're a grading from hive mind. We have to know. Oh my God, <laughs> tell my parents to hide. <laughs> they're getting swatted. Nardwar swatted my parents. <laughs> now they're in a Colombian prison. January eighth, nineteen ninety eight. Oh no, how'd you? I didn't kill him. I thought I settled this in court. <laughs> what the vehicular? <laughs> oh no, um, vehicular. I wasn't drunk, I was buzzed. 1.1. <laughs> <laughs> Blood alcohol, yeah. Yo. BAC? Yeah, yeah, that's right, BAC. Who jogs at midnight? <laughs> they weren't even wearing a reflector. Nissan. 
Uh, yeah, it was an Ultima, I guess. <laughs> it was my new Ultima. I just leased Yikes. it. Six fractures! <laughs> yeah, I got six fractures in my forearms after putting the person out of their misery. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. And you are? <laughs> Gr Graydon from Hive Mind. Yeah. Thanks, Nardwar. This has been a <laughs> super good interview. Keep on rocking in the free ride. I don't want to keep that. <laughs> if I ever get interviewed by Nardwar, I'm going to piss my pants during the interview. That's a promise to you, my fans. <laughs> Love your Nardwar. Yeah, yeah. It's, a little, uh, man, it's a little exaggerated a little how he bit actually talks yeah, but but that's still. Like. that was off the cuff too i didn't like yeah. have a nardwar it was like let me just see what i got I the right <laughs> the way here did you yeah i hate children like, oh I, ugh, so slow yeah, they are. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And those bus drivers, they always look so nasty. Like, you've never seen a person driving a school bus full of kids and been like, oh, they're hot. Miss Frizzle, <laughs> Miss Frizzle was hot in, like, the nothing can hold her back. She's a free spirit mm. kind of way. I mean, that and she has a huge ass and, like, tree trunk legs. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm more like about, I'm more about, like, oh, what's up here? Mm. Are you? Yeah. I'm about what's up here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <hard. laughs> ow, ow. <laughs> this isn't me. <laughs> Show me those big bombs, Yo, this, the realization, I don't feel bro. like myself doing that. I, I'm sorry <laughs> to everybody who watches the Magic School Bus. And <laughs> watches, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's just... <laughs> It's not Riley. That's, yeah, that's not, not him. That's not me. It's not him. I was trying to put on a little act, be a cool guy. Yeah. I hear a cool guy say stuff like that. Yikes. It sounds normal, but when I Yikes. say it, you know, it just it didn't come off right and I'm sorry. So <laughs> At least he was aware, bro. Uh, wow. You say bop and then you go. <laughs> <laughs> you just one bop. Yeah, like bop. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, it's talking about Miss Frizzle's boobs yeah. and the head. The head. You to, cut yourself off. Had to be like, hey, wait GGs. a minute. Turn it down, pal. I've lost myself. <laughs> I think I still have to go with the Nardwar thing, though. <laughs> I don't it's know. Like classic and solid I feel like this bit, isn't me is funnier. A little bit. Off the cuff too, but it's real. Uh, this isn't me is funnier to me. What do you think, Grant? I agree with Dignan. Uh, I think the Nardwar bit's more legendary, but this isn't me is funnier. Okay. Yeah, let's go with this isn't me. Nardwar. Now we got Tindergarten versus Stapleton. I hate children's books. I don't think kids <laughs> should be reading. Oh, no, give them an iPad. Yeah, make them play games. Ah, uh, that's like good for that. their mind. It's yeah. stimulus. They like stimulating. that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Candy Crush, you know, all that <laughs> sort of deal. Yeah. Pay for Dolphin Olympics. Temple Run. Uh-huh. Tinder Temple was valid. Tinder. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Yeah. Nah, nah, nah. Tinder for babies. Kinder. <laughs>Okay, we have mic audio. We have Chrome audio. All right, cool. That's got to do webcam. No. Brush, you know, all that sort of deal. <laughs> yeah. Pay for the At least you didn't close OBS this time. Uh-huh. Tinder. Tinder. <laughs> Tinder is a good swipe, one. Swipe, swipe, swipe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tinder for babies. Kinder. That's already oh, a kindergarten.
Tindergarten. Tindergarten. Yeah. Tinder That's super yeah. good. I, it's probably not a good. You're right. It's there's a lot. Of, it's course, a lot of. I mean, you'd, yeah. It's, of course, there's yeah. ethical issues. I mean, what, <laughs> what idea doesn't have ethical issues? Right. We can. There are obstacles. Let's let's jump those hurdles. I'm Tindergarten. Great name. Great Say name. It. That's yeah. really all that matters. Bad. Say the word. Bad one idea. Go ahead, good name. We can fix that. Mm -hmm. You know, from the creators of Hive Mind. <laughs> we bring you Dinner Garden. <laughs> so your babies can finally Yo. find the perfect playmate. <laughs> Just an Uber and send them over there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that'll be all right. Uber for children, where the drivers and the passengers are both kids. <laughs> that way it's safe. You can feel good knowing your child is being driven by another child. Yeah. All right, next album. Enough. Before we get canceled. Yeah, enough. <laughs> enough Silicon Valley talk. That's early one too. That's the Yo. old that's. Yeah. yeah. I love your. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Responding to an imaginary, yeah. but dissent or somebody being like, "Now wait a minute. Yeah, you think about this." Right into the camera. <laughs> and I go, oh, of course. Yeah, no, trust me. I get it, guys. That's like a real life conversation we would have, too. Like okay. a real idea, you know? I did not that is guess insane. Chris Stapleton. Stapleton's a weird last like, name. Like, why? Stapleton. Hey, Stapleton, get over here. Your big ass ought to be on the football team. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Stapleton, you dropped on your head when you were a kid? Get over here. What would your mother think if I told her you were smoking Cubano cigars at lunch? <laughs> You're in fucking it, eighth grade. Where the fuck did you get a box of premium Cubano cigars? <laughs> Stapleton, are these things from Cuba? I mean, no. oh shit. These things are expensive as fuck. You're literally 13 years old. I mean, I understand. You don't like the school lunches, but Cuban cigars? What the fuck, Stapleton? Yes. Chris Stapleton, I'm serious. Where did you get these? Your dad's not even around. I don't know who you took them from. There's something about the, your breaths in between words. I Stables so and got it. It makes me For imagine sure. that they're still so far apart. Like a child like Chris Stapleton's at the end of the hall. <laughs> and yelled at by the, by like a gym coach. coach. Yeah. There's yeah. the gym teacher who's like found his cigars and is requiring <laughs> further details. And neither of them are getting closer together. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Where the fuck did you get I think it? Got it's it. so funny that it like just started off as like his last name's funny. But we were a little bit, and then we just got stuck on Cubano cigar. He's <laughs> <laughs> actually from Cuba. I mean, holy fuck, these things are expensive as shit. Yeah, yeah. I think that's like one of our most underrated bits ever. Like, Low key. it just is so ridiculous. Like, Doesn't have to be Chris Stapleton. Yeah, like, I don't even. I don't even. In my head, I already by the time we start saying Stapleton, I'm thinking of a different person. I'm not yeah. thinking. I'm thinking of a chubby 13 year old big ass boy who's just in, in middle school. Stapleton Yo. wins. Yeah. That's yeah, kind of it against does. all odds. It's it sad to see uh, the re any red desk bits go. But. Right. Last one on this side Riley takes a nap versus killing your high school bully with a golf club. <laughs> that one was funny. I think I remember that one. I've been meaning to do this for a long time. Oh, this one was kind of funny. There, there. There, there, child. Rest your weary eyes upon my shoulder. And the Grammy goes to Louis C.K. <laughs> oh, he's having a little dream again. I don't care about Yo. the conditions. I mean, I want to drive fast. <laughs> That's my <laughs> boy. Talking in his sleep again. <laughs> uh, let's just throw it in the trash. I mean, it's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's my little boy. Oh, I'm late for school. Okay, hey, oh, he's I back. Think uh, I definitely wasn't <laughs> pretending to be your dad again. I don't usually sleep during the videos, but... You were sleeping for a long time. Really? How oh, long? Oh, yeah. 12 years. 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh god, I've done it this time. Yes. <laughs> it was a big snooze. I had a call. lot of stuff to do yeah. that I probably missed out on. Yep. A lot of people you knew died. Who's the president now? I, I can't call it. I think it's Oscar the Grouch. What? <laughs> <laughs> he said it couldn't get crazier than Yikes. Trump, but geez, that is wild. The man. whole what the heck? The whole House of Representatives is puppets. <laughs> really? Yes. Yeah, it's a puppet government. It's a puppet government. Yeah, that Yo. good. That's pretty multi-dimensional. Yeah, like, it, it is. It is. There. Sleepy you is funny. Sleepy me saying cancelable things. Yeah. That's, that's <laughs> nice, but then it builds into I've slept for 12 years right. and things have really changed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this time. Yeah, that one's good. Do you ever just wonder what it would feel like to hit somebody with a bat? Like, just the sensation of yeah, it. Obviously, you know, I'm saying like, there's nobody in particular I want to hit. I don't want to hurt anybody. I'm saying like, what would that feel like on your hands? You ever hit a mailbox with a bat? Yeah, it hurts. Right. It, 
like shakes your your hands yeah. like vibrate. You feel like you got electrocuted mm-hmm. if you do it. Yeah, yeah. If you, do it right. <laughs> you really got knocked that thing over. Yeah. Think about it, <laughs> a person with that. It would just oh that blunt force trauma. I mean, ooh, boy, would it be satisfying? Maybe I'm going Yo. with the golf club, and let me tell you, yes. Oh yeah. wait, that's me with the golf club. Oh yeah, really? yeah, my high school bully. <laughs> it was last week, but he had it coming. <laughs> you are in your late thirties. He had it coming. Did he's he all- see it coming? No. Oh, no. <laughs> he was asleep. <laughs> wow. Well, and like the courses are closed. I gotta keep my swing loose for the season. I like the idea Yo. of you walking into a dark bedroom where your high school bully is sleeping, and you turn to your caddy and you're like, "What do you think, nine iron?" <laughs> <laughs> no breeze. It's 73 degrees in his house. He's like, I don't think you can get it there. Give me the pitching wedge. Oh, he's still alive. Hand me my putter. You pick the ball out of his mouth, tip your cap. It was a wife. I leave the house. And the kids. His kids are like, he was a dick anyway. Thanks. Yo. I think it's funny because it's us. Taking them in. Like, in the moment, it's not like the bit's finished. It's like we're coming up with ideas That's as evidence. we go. Pre hive mind Rico. Yo, yo, bruh, it's been a year since Young Thug's album was announced before he got arrested. Free thug, bro. Yeah. And building it. Free you can see up, us man. being like, then you do this, then you yeah. do this, like other golf analogies, <laughs> then it builds up into this, like, you really see it in the moment. Nah, I'm picturing, real. like, the golf, golf club got it. tucked in shirt, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? He's got a glove on, yep. and, like, walks into the house, and he's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just like dark golf is always outside in the sun and you're seeing somebody walk into a dark house quiet wait nah with- nah it hasn't been that just had that was boys tober that was that boys tober the wire the wire g rico was boys tober that just happened i was about to say ain't no way it's been a year bro all of their golf stuff that almost just got me bro high school bowl. nah that would have been crazy kids, the putter and the, the golf ball out of the mouth <laughs> but yo how, like, why, why was, why was they trying to investigate YRG though? <laughs> Yo, bro, I swear, Rage got a chain and they was like, yeah, nah, you're done, buddy. You're done. Tip of the cap. You're done. It's, it's just so visual. Yeah, that one's good. I think it wins here. You're not this <laughs> Side number two, we've got, no, seriously, I'm saying I'm going to kill the president versus oh. I'm crazy, quirky, and silly. Love these as a matchup. You think you could get, like, the announcers of the Kentucky Derby in trouble if you named your horse like what no seriously i'm saying i'm gonna kill the president (laughs) we're talking about a video because i'm talking about the tweet when that one when that one uh when that one reporter was like investigating criminal organization yrg like the it was like the day of boys tober hold on let's see let's see yrg rico Okay, yeah, that's a diff- that's a different YRG Rico. That's a different YRG Rico. That's the that's that's the Reddit one. That's a different one. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. I'm talking about. Oh, it's funny. It happened right after this clip. It happened right after this. Boys and mo- what? <laughs> Rico Act, Aiden Ross, K Sign, Rudd, Kasanak, Ka Mafia, and P D. This happened like a week before Boys Tober, and it was during Boys Tober when some random reporter was like, "Yo, Boys Dealers, we're investigating YRG." Sometimes Jones, D O O T K D Y K, you're raised YRG D Y K. That turns up. Got affiliate shooter store runner. <laughs> Asian AMP, Phantom AMP, Rashad Duke, Dennis Pringleton, AMP, some nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Ricky D, yo, sick of D, nigga, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yo, bro. Yo, this was mad <laughs> funny, bro. Miss Kip, OCK, Espen, OCK, Big Low, Davis, AMP, Chris, AMP, Wally, Witness, boy. <laughs> nah, for real. Nah, bro, I'm gonna try and find a tweet. I'm gonna try and find a tweet. But this, this is basically what I'm talking about because it happened like right after that video, right after that clip. 
and they're off, and Not it's no sure. seriously. I'm saying I'm going to kill the president oh. out to an early lead, and it's Cheeseburger 4000 right behind him next to Old Green Grass Kentucky Blows, and they're coming around the final turn, and it's no seriously. I'm saying I'm going to kill the president. He's got a four-horse <laughs> length. He's going, oh, and he's won the Kentucky Derby. No, seriously, I'm saying I'm going to kill the president with another brilliant race. <laughs> and immediately, like, he gets coughed and taken out of the booth. No, seriously, that was his name, was no, seriously, I'm saying I'm going to kill the president. They're like, stop. <laughs> the concept of that one, just as an idea, is unbelievable. It's two things. It's one, horses always have stupid long names yeah. like that. And two, it's just something Literally. you can't say. Like, yeah. it's like the one thing you can't <laughs> say. You know, that you would make somebody say. Right. It's and just, not only making original them tweet. saying it, adding the no seriously. Yeah. <laughs> it's not, I'm gonna kill the president. Yeah. It's the horse's name. The no. horse's name is no <laughs> seriously. <laughs> I'm saying. <laughs> yes, yeah, deleted. The original tweet is gone, for sure. But... It was, uh, oh, and hold on a minute. Is her account gone? She's, she got suspended or, or deactivated. Imagine that. He's such a crazy, quirky, silly guy. I love Nardwar. He's crazy, quirky, and silly. Yeah. Those are the things about him that I like a lot. What is that again? Crazy, quirky, and silly guy. Okay, mm. yeah. It's kind of like me. I think I'm a little crazy, quirky, and silly, too. Mm. Uh, I think you're quirky, and you're definitely crazy. But <laughs> yeah. I don't know about silly. We... No? Yeah. Oh, that was kind of silly. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Just, ah, not for real. Okay, that's definitely silly. Because, yeah. like, ah. bro. Oh, yeah, you're getting sillier, yeah. <laughs> It's just like a real like local news reporter in like it was like Kansas, like it was like the most random place ever, bro. <laughs> yeah, that was, it was like Kansas City. Yeah, like... <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's silly. Yeah. Silly <laughs> that, that's what my yeah. teachers Yo. called me silly ass. Yeah, you proved me wrong, honestly. Mm -hmm. Physical comedy at its best, really. <laughs> it really all is just about that. I have to go with the Kentucky Derby, bro. bro. Yeah. It's yeah. just about that. Just the... <laughs> Other than that, I mean, yeah, it's gonna be the first one. Yeah. yeah. Back before that you guys so had a stylist, funny. apparently, too. You're way too focused on how you look in all these, or how Graydon looks. Yeah. Or... It's not about that. That's what this whole thing <laughs> is about for me. It's about looking good? Mm -hmm. It's my, uh... It's called New Year's Resolution, is that what you're thinking yeah, of? I yeah, I thought I was, I was going to say reparations, but... Oh. It's my New Year reparations <laughs> for my former self. <laughs> I'm not saying that. Okay, Yo. I never say Well, that. I'm for them. Yeah, still. Yo. It's even if I'm pro that... I would stay off the forums, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> now we got it. Brayden speaks Latin to LeBron versus Nick is a dead child. <laughs> okay. All right, Yo. 2016. Let's think of something that happened this year, like another... The bit. Cavs won the finals. Are you kidding me? Came back from 3-1 down. The greatest sports championship of all time. How yeah. could you forget 2016? I watched game five on acid in Ann Arbor mm. in a crowded sports bar. It was one of the most intense trips I've ever had. Was it good? Oh, I was freaking out. I was like, <laughs> I was like in the game. Okay, I'll ask hey, again. Yo. Was it good? <laughs> <laughs> okay. There were a hundred TVs around me and people like splashing beers around. And I was sitting there like, <laughs> I was like speaking Latin to LeBron. <laughs> This is the game where you no. threw it off glass. Yeah. And dunked it and let's just say, I climaxed. <laughs> <laughs> we can say that. I can say that. Yo. You, can, you can say that. Yeah. I climaxed. <laughs> On Yo. LSD in a sports bar in Ann Arbor. <laughs> this is not made up. Like, yeah. this is just Graydon telling oh, a real story, story. But it reads just like a bit that we it would. Does. <laughs> you can tell. There's a difference in tone yeah. and the whole thing of like the way he's saying it. Yeah. But it's just not a bit. Yeah. It's just him telling us a real story about his life. Well, besides the Latin part, I don't think he can speak Latin. Well, maybe he can on well, acid. Well, when he's on acid, yeah, maybe. Right. maybe. Maybe. Two of my kids could speak Latin when I gave him LSD. Really? Yeah. <laughs> to each other, I couldn't. I guess I'm only assuming it was fluent. They understood what they were I was going to say, how do you know? No. Yeah, no. you don't. You just, they were doing something. They yeah. were talking weird. And you thought maybe it was Latin. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yo. A pair of pants. It's, it's all one. Yeah. Pair of socks separate. You can lose, you don't lose the left leg of your pants. Honey, have you seen my <laughs> other pant? I cannot I find my good. left pant. Shut up. I should have left you eight years ago. <laughs> no, we, we're late for the party. I just can't Not find my other funny. pant. The kids are dead and it's your fault. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god, I just woke up. Oh, I'm alive. Yo. I can see. I can feel. That is real. <laughs> Wake up. 
I have zero idea what character you're playing. <laughs> <laughs> he was a dead child. He was no, not. I was playing a dead kid. Oh, I get it. You were the dead child. <laughs> Same. We have dead, the dead kids are you were, dead. You were my nagging wife. Nagging wife, yeah. I was kind of like the lay about dad who never did do care about nothing. And Nick was the uh, reincarnated version of one of our dead children. Who died mm. because you fed them too much cookie crisp. Cookie mm. crisp. No, no, they're still alive. They're <laughs> not the dog. You are not the dog for the <laughs> Gonna be the dog for a minute. The dog <laughs> dead too. Here, wait, I'll do the wife thing first. Okay. okay. All right. Let him be the dog. All right. Yo. Honey, I really don't want to get into this. We're just late for this party and I want to find one pant. I told you you should have never. Cookie crisp. I love that dog. Get over here. Who's a good dog? <laughs> Cookie cream. That's a good dog. Guests will really Yo. bring out the best in us, you yeah. know. Oh, that one is just full on um, pull back the curtain. Like we're trying something out, <laughs> and we're like calling out. Like I don't know who you're supposed to be. It's very much showing like the mechanics of us trying <laughs> to make a bit happen. Yeah. And that ended up being the funniest part about it. So I just left Literally. it all. He's the dead kid. Yeah. Look and see. <laughs> he wants to be interjected into the bit so bad that he quite literally resurrects a dead character inside of the bit. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So, wow. Well, getting this somehow. The underrated too line too is him just going, the dog's dead too. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping there were some bits in here that like weren't our lead, really. Yeah, Nick is the funniest part of that bit. Um, Nick is so funny. But I think yeah. that's the funnier bit. I gotta go with Gray Graydon Speaks Latin to LeBron. Yeah. It's just a funnier story. I feel like I feel like Latin to LeBron is funny because it's real. It's an amazing story. Grant? I would take Nick as a dead child. I hate to see the 2016 Cavaliers lose, but... Next mm. we got my still 13-footer versus Riley's Instagram coach. Pretty badass. Yo. I mean, that looks like a still 13 footer. I mean, that thing could whip through a cedar in no time. Birch, mm. don't even talk about it like butter. Mm. <laughs> strong, not strong enough for the old still 13 footer. It's a good <laughs> chainsaw. Trees in my neighborhood stay in no chains. City don't Yo. want me cutting them down. Said so they've been growing them for years to yeah. provide shade for the children and create a more aesthetically pleasing drive down the residential roads. I say, bah humbug. I'm <laughs> so firewood, 20 bucks a barrel. It's in my front yard. What is a city anyway, saying they own the trees? Yeah, bullshit. The trees been here longer than the city. Bullshit. Uh, yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> the only person who's gonna own that tree is whoever buys the firewood from the barrels in my front well, yard. Fuck yeah, fuck yeah. yeah. That's who's gonna own the fucking tree. They own the tree. Rightfully so. Business done the old fashioned way. Cash on Cash <laughs> on hand. OBO. Or best offer. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they can pay whatever they like. Sure, because that's just fair. Elected a mayor. Younger than my youngest. I said, what the fuck? How's a kid <laughs> gonna tell me what to do? Yeah, hey, fucking child, Mayor. You gotta be shitting me. If I didn't have all my marbles <laughs> in a row, I'd go down to City Hall myself and I'd chop his legs off. With my still, 13 footer. <laughs> he would have no problem ripping through his little baby boy flesh. And I'd chop him up and I'd sell him for an honest price. <laughs> in a barrel in my front yard. I don't do Facebook Yo. marketplace. I've been swindled too many times. They what? Tell me they have a vintage Zolt. I ain't never heard that as some tornado advice. Where are they saying that? Well, yeah, where were they? They said y'all are a failure. Tar machine. I never heard anybody say something from the 90s. I said, when the fuck did the 90s become vintage? I was born in 77. What's that make me? A relic? That's right. Barrel of bones in my front yard. Phibias, tibias, femurs. All from city officials. $20, OBO. The obsession Yo. with OBO is my favorite part. I have to ask because, okay, this is Graydon, but you yeah. might know about this too. <laughs> a still 13 footer? Right. <laughs> what does that mean? Like, that's not a real chainsaw, yeah. right? No. That's so big. Right? <laughs> Imagine it is. Like, I think about that's double the size of a person. They make big <laughs> ones, though. Like, surprisingly, not that big. Probably yeah. not. No, yeah. not even close. Because yeah, I was thinking about that. I was like, so where did still 13 footer come from? That's an impossible chainsaw. <laughs> think of that. You know what I mean? That's like Yo. an anime chainsaw. Like Literally. everybody. That's what they told me. Who? My Instagram coach. <laughs> okay. He said, you can't like everybody, okay? Give likes to everybody, that doesn't mean nothing. Yeah. Your like has to mean something. So uh -huh. Your like has to have value. You know, like 10 posts a month. That's it. Uh -huh. 10 posts a month. Right. I remember this Done. one. That's one every three days. Okay. So it's a really cool trick. It better be the fucking best trick I've ever seen if I'm going to like it. What do you mean trick? <laughs> I, I follow a lot of trick shot pages. Oh, trick shot. Mm. I, was, I was picturing a magician. It could be a magician. I follow a bunch of magicians as well. <laughs> yeah, I know you do. Could be. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. But it better be the biggest, fattest, juiciest ass I've ever seen if I'm going to like it. <laughs> is this <laughs> coach talk? Likes me. Yes, my coach talks exactly like this. <laughs> okay. This is an impression of my coach. Yeah. Likes Yo. are currency. Okay. <laughs> if you're in posts, you're done. You're washed. It's too many. Your Instagram means nothing. <laughs> You've lost value then. Don't be your Instagram. You're losing value. I'm starting <laughs> to understand. <laughs> Ten picture carousels. First one's a question. The tenth one's an answer. Ah. Every swipe is an interaction. Oh, shit. You get one swipe right or ten swipes right? I, gu I guess ten. Ten. Yeah. Ten. <laughs> I did. Say ten. I said ten. Said it, say it again. Ten. Delete your Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of the best, dude. That one's so good. I, it's, I like that I, like, ramp up to the voice. Like, yeah. it doesn't nah, start. Really. It starts, yeah. like, that, that's, like, a subtle like version of it. Up. And then it gets into this character that I'd figured out about halfway through. <laughs> I thought you say tricks. I go, tricks? And you go, trick shots. I follow a lot of trick shot pages. And then you also follow a lot of magicians. And then somewhere in between that time, you come up with the cadence for big Juicy ass. Yeah. I like both these a lot. Yeah, this is like the closest one. I feel like I don't. I, I think I have to go thirteen footer, bro. Like I might have to. Still <laughs> that makes sense. That That's one's fair. a little more like rapid fire. Has a lot. <laughs> Mine's like a tighter, weird character I came up with. But the still thirteen footer is like two minutes long. <laughs> now we got Goose Mode versus Riley. Couldn't come to spring break. <laughs> you can't keep getting skunked, or I'm gonna go Goose Mode on you. Goose Mode. What's yeah, that? that's if I have zero points through the first three questions, I'm going to start honking and flapping at you like a goose. What? Yeah. That's going to be crazy. Ugh. You're not going to like it. Goose mode is insane. Goose mode. Yeah, I'm going to poop all over the studio, too. What the hell? It's what go the goose does. I'm going goose mode. Three, two, one. I put take my breath and starry eyes. I put out of time and best friends. It is sacrifice and don't break my heart. Really? Yes. Sacrifice is number one? Long shot, too. Oh my gosh, and Don't Break My Heart is my favorite song on the album. It's, it's Out of Time song. and Don't Break My Heart are my two favorites. Mm -hmm. That's so crazy. Ooh. Oh, fuck. Yo. Oh, that's, <laughs> not, that's not even a haunt. That oh is my insane. God, that's like a screech. <laughs> What the f- Oh my jeez, it's like pterodactyl mode. Oh my god. Yo. You know, geese were so fat. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm not a fan of goose mode, man. I don't know. At all. Neither am I. I don't like this either. <laughs> right? I wish I got some of the questions right. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't think I can make that noise anymore. I think the best part of that bit, though, is like when you're turned around <laughs> and you're going, I don't like this either. <laughs> like, as if you have no choice but to go control. goose mode. Nah, and the fact that I don't even notice it's happening. Like, I go through so much talking about the stupid <laughs> answer, <laughs> and you're just like doing it, and I like forget why you're even doing it. And I'm like, oh shit, goose mode. Damn. Fuck. This album reminds me of Spring Break. What, just because you were? I just have to say. <laughs> that's not the bit. That starts, <laughs> that's just you getting something wrong and going, fuck! <laughs> what, just because you weren't allowed on spring break that year doesn't mean you got to hold grudges against me, asshole. It's not that I wasn't allowed, I wasn't invited. <laughs> well, what's the difference? You weren't allowed because we didn't want you there. <laughs> I, that's not... Your mom really wanted you to come too. She I know. begged us. She said, please take Riley. He's got no friends. <laughs> we said, we're skimboarding. He can't hang. <laughs> you really can't skimboard for sure. Yo. We can please change the subject. Fine. Spring break 2018. Miami. Lit. Rolls Royce. Phantom. Me. Pitbull. Hulk Hogan. In the club. Drunk as fuck. You know how much I love Hulk Hogan. Thank you. <laughs> I hate this story. Fine, I'll change the subject. Spring break, 2019. Oh yes, I was out of college for a few years. Still went. Banger of a time. I was in South Carolina this time. All sorts of badass shit was going on. <laughs> Fucking NASCAR race was happening. National Yo. Bird Watchers Convention. <laughs> Woo! Yo. Man, that shit was crazy. We shut it down. Had bottles of all sorts of bottles. Woo! Yo. <laughs> Man, I love spring break, dog. I fucking Dude, love spring break. Being quite a fan, knowing you got two biggest haters here in your community. Uh, it's chill because I ignore y'all. Whenever you know what I'm saying, because that's because that at the end of the day, that's y'all, that's y'all opinion, bro. Y'all entitled to feel that way. You feel me? But I know that Born Yesterday is one of the best songs to be released last year. Dog, you know? I've noticed so, there's a there's a consistent like, character with me of you being know? sad that I'm not good at sports. God, these arms. <laughs> You're real sensitive. I think I uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. I think spring break, just because of like 
how much crazier it got. Than you know, it was kind of like, all right, but I think as a he didn't clip, like start flying. Spring Break one's funnier, you know? but as like a concept, Goosebumps. Out of roughly one million songs released, uh, I didn't listen to all one million. I listened to maybe two thousand. So. It was definitely one of them. It was up there. It was one of the better ones. Or part of our canon. Yeah. But did yeah, you yeah, hear it? Funny. Probably yeah, not. Spring break. Spring break's funny. Yeah. We had bottles of all sorts of bottles. All sorts of bottles. <laughs> I couldn't even think of one liquor. All right. Now we got SpongeBob and I got hazed together versus the simple things in life. I'm very excited for you to guess what? From this. Me too. That's what I thought you said. Now let me offer this as a rebuttal. Ah! This is one of those ones. If I knew it, I'd know it. You know. Do you yeah. know what the voice is? Yeah, it's square pants. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's square pants, man. Of course yeah. it square pants. We went to college together. We were hazed in the same fraternity. Nice. <laughs> they hazed me in square pants. Hazed the shit out of us. We persevered and we became brothers. Our friendship that we formed that semester would last the rest of our lives. Except I didn't know that I was taking him for granted. And when I lost him too early, it would change okay, everything. Bro. And my kids would grow up without the uncle that they should have had. Yeah, man. Uh, he's a fictional Yikes. sponge from a Nickelodeon TV show. But... but we were in the same fraternity. Yeah, it's just not true. And the bond we made that semester, I thought, would last a lifetime. How are you <laughs> criticizing me for having an imaginary dinosaur best friend when I was a kid? And you believe that you went to college with SpongeBob SquarePants? He should have never attempted those ridiculous motorcycle stunts. Yo, I didn't have the heart to stop him. And, Yo, in fact, I took joy in the fanfare, and I'd say... There goes my square pants. That's my brother, who we got hazed together in the same fraternity. And he didn't even die in a motorcycle stunt. He died in a carryout at 3 a.m. Trying to help the poor lady behind the cash nav. register from getting robbed. The pistol went off accidentally. Nav the either. And he's only serving four years for That's understandable though. A lot of people don't like Nav. A lot of people don't like Nav. You know, that's how it is. I personally think Nav has good moments. I haven't listened to one of his albums. In, in entirety, but I've heard a lot of his songs and they good. I can back to back freestyle is one of the best beats uh, of 2015, considering he made it in 20 minutes. Uh, you know, it's fire. Slaughter. But if I know one thing, if it weren't for square pants being in that carry out that night, there would have been a lot more dead bodies in this city. Jesus, man. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please just guess? <laughs> Your total dismissal the whole time is probably my favorite part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm, just, I'm just like, no, it's a fictional sponge Bruh. from a Nickelodeon TV show. <laughs> Don't entertain it for a second. Yeah, no, there's zero. It doesn't slow it down. Oh, it literally just keeps going. It just, and it's so consistent. It so, like, paints a picture the entire time. Literally. It's really crazy. Yeah. You want the kids That was all right. It didn't really you know. He's a daredevil, you know? He it really gets a fleshed out character in there. But then he died in a carryout, right. but like, as a hero, yeah. I guess this <laughs> that little bit came from. Graydon shared it with me. Uh, his favorite movie, Stand by Me. Oh yeah, mm. yeah. I think River Phoenix's character in that movie ends up dying trying to break up a knife fight later on, and it's only told to you via the narrator. Oh, mm. and that stuck with him, and he told me that's why SpongeBob also died that way. Okay, mm. cool. I like simple tasks nowadays. Uh, this helps me clear my mind, get right. I'm on the lawn with my bare hands, making mm. a fire in my backyard to heat up my bath water for my wife and I. Run getting stamps from the post office. Mm. Don't even gotta ship anything. Just, just like stamps. Like to keep up on which government holidays are coming up too, and the stamps often replicate those mm. oncoming government holidays. Polishing my hammer. Yo. I don't think Yo. you can say that one anymore these days. The kids are using that phrase for something else. I don't keep up with that stuff. I've been too busy polishing my hammer. <laughs> I polish my hammer at work. On the weekends, I polish my hammer as well. Out in public, I polish my hammer. Maybe you want to try greasing your wrench. Jacking off at the baseball stadium. <laughs> you know, the simple stuff. Calling in bomb threats to my kid's middle school just so I get to spend the day with them. Printing out pictures Yo. of all my female co-workers. <laughs> Burning them. It's really the simple things. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> it bring you back to earth. That is so true. Ain't but no way. Offer a helping hand to the guy at the gas station who seems homeless and beating the absolute dog crap out of him. <laughs>
Yo. <laughs> you go like McConaughey. <laughs> like, I love that accent. You're yeah. like cool, wise, kind of stupid. <laughs> I love the I idea of like something. the polishing the hammer being this euphemism and then just going jacking off the base. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. Right now, your female co workers. Because it's like at that point, sitting next to you, I would be like, don't say it. And then you just say burning them. Yeah. Yeah. Burning is yeah. unexpected, but funny. It's Not sadistic. It's yeah. like, it is. That's like I, when I said that, I was like, can I put this in the video? Yeah. I thought burn that. Him. This one's kind of tough for me. I feel like the SpongeBob one is Some like, things Classic. Yeah. Then the simple things in life one. I feel like I'm leaning towards SpongeBob. I kind of am too, but I don't. Surprisingly, I don't I'm not. Mad tossing it to Grant. All right, Grant, what would you pick? I would pick SpongeBob. I that's think fair. that makes the most sense. Yeah. I think that's a funnier bit overall. Can you imagine? I think that was funnier. That was me on channel like this week, oh. and they got they're watching this. I feel like it's actually a pretty good intro. True. You for get to what see the is history. like good about the show. Like if you see the thumbnails and stuff, you might think like oh another music channel doing yeah. whatever. It's like obviously it's pretty different than that, <laughs> but it's like. It just makes me so weird to see us right. breaking our own bits. Yeah. <laughs> if you just found us, it's very odd. <laughs> just the name of the next matchup. <laughs> <laughs> Next we got CJ is addicted to blue cheese versus I fucked the pool boy. <laughs> well, CJ no, crossed my mind for a second, but then I was like, wait a minute, he hasn't been doing this for a while. He's a fucking industry plant. He's like a fraud. <laughs> CJ's a fraud. And I'm he authentic. Is. I'm a real person named Dignan. Who's real and has a history and a long list of friends and family. I'm real. I do have a Facebook. <laughs> Does CJ have a Facebook? He's addicted to blue cheese. That's Bruh. disgusting. I'm addicted to opiates. <laughs> Weak ones, too. Two milligram perkies. I take 80 of them a day. Bruh. I microdose perkies. Dignan, that's 160 <laughs> milligrams of perk a day. Right. <laughs> but I don't take it all at once. It doesn't matter, bro. That's way too much. I'm microdosing, which is what celebrities do. Pete Davidson microdoses. <laughs> he doesn't microdose percocet. Okay, and that makes him better? Yeah, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Yikes. Today's societal standards are trash, bro. CJ's addicted to blue cheese. You think childhood obesity is a joke? What are these kids growing up listening to this going to do? They're going to go out and buy buckets of blue cheese and buckets devour of blue it cheese. behind their little computer screens. That's one of my favorites Yo. of all time. There's two different instances. Yeah. Of that one's CJ's really funny. addicted to blue cheese. <laughs> I'm a real man. Yeah. I'm a person. I'm a person with a Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Caldwell. Darling, open your eyes. Bobby. That might be my wedding song. I'm down. What? You don't have to give me permission. When well, marrying you, I think I have a Fuck say. Fuck no, you ain't. What the hell? You. I'm not marrying you again. We tried it in college for the tax break, and then you, you just assumed the role of mean wife. We were like, yes. hey, we're buddies. All we do is sit around, chill, and smoke. Let's get some money. Yeah. We went to the courthouse that day. Uh -huh. We got married, and then you were like, why don't you get a fucking job? And I was like, no, right? Yeah. Chill out, man. I'm rolling us out blind, and you were like, all I do is work. Yeah. All I do is I do the dishes, I yep. come I'm home See, and you're in the yikes. same spot. See, the same spot. See, oh, you going out with your friends again tonight? See, going out with your friends again tonight. I don't know where this Did is. you forget about your goddamn family? See, I don't, I don't know where this comes from. What happened to you? Why? Why is this? We used to love each other. Your parents are happy, so it's not like internalized trauma from your childhood. It's like, where's this coming from? It's like you want it. It's weird. I put this family first again and again. We don't. And all you do is care about yourself. Yep, we don't have a family. We just bought a pound of weed and I'm trying to smoke. I fucked the pool boy. Great, I don't have a pool. Great <laughs> pool boy got it. I think, I don't know, bruh. I think good blue cheese is good. It just depends. It's rare. It's rare that you find a good blue cheese. But honestly, lately, it hasn't been hitting like it used to at all. It hasn't been hitting, but I don't know. Me personally. <laughs> I love that voice too. That like upset wife. Upset wife. Yeah, pool boy got it's it. Good. I like that one. It's good to tap into. Pool boy it got it. It's yeah. really good. I don't know where it comes from though. Yeah, that's what I was I thinking. I had that one locked and loaded and I don't know why. You TV, said that. Probably. TV, probably a big part of it. Friends, houses. Porn. Mm. Porn. I don't know. Maybe you're in. I don't know what you're into. I don't watch porn. Uh, could be nagging wife stuff. I don't watch Ooh, who porn. Who said that? All. Well, like, you know, people will say porn, like food porn. Oh yeah, food porn. Yeah. It's not food fucking food. 
Well, yeah, unless it's mm. a sausage party. <laughs> it's like <Yeah>. sexy, <laughs> image. sexy images. Oh, right. totally. I'll so be satisfying yeah. people cooking a rotisserie chicken right. or whatever. Mm. Yeah, the crackle of the pork skin. Yeah, sure. So you could be no. the nagging wife porn. It's just like highlights of the best nagging wives. Oh, totally. I would love that. I think these lyrics that. for their probably lyrics. Right. If any of the high mind compilation channels want to make a nagging wife highlights compilation for me, you can just call it porn. Nagging wife porn <laughs> compilation and maybe send that to me. Again, I don't want this to be yeah. pornographic. No, it's not. It's just like what people say. Right, totally. Yeah. I want it to be just nagging wife. Just that hot stuff. There's no danger yeah. in saying porn just in place of like highlight reel. Yeah. I don't even know what song that is. Yeah, sure. like, there's no danger in that. NBA slam dunk competition porn. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, so you're just going to be what? the greatest dunks of all time yeah, yeah. in competition. You're not, no one's fucking a basketball. The, Do you think Mac McClung has ever fucked a basketball? Yo. You think so? <laughs> it's kind of like Robert Holy Johnson shit. selling his soul at the crossroads. Who's Robert Johnson? Is <laughs> <laughs> R. Kelly? Isn't R. Kelly's name Robert Johnson? <laughs> I and mean, if it is, that's unfortunate. I'm going CJ. Yo. Oh yeah, CJ for me too. Next we've got really? dog massages versus Graydon Shoots Riley. Now your mom mm -hmm. has a dog grooming business. Yes, she does. Okay. As one of her services, she offers massages. Yeah. <laughs> That's a little weird. How would you ever know? <laughs> you know what I mean? How do they keep track of that? Like in the waiting room, like, get his shoulders. Yep. <laughs> she gets the dog back and they're like, okay, nails are clipped, everything. He still seems stressed though. <laughs> are you sure you gave him that massage? Why would she ever give him a massage? It's to the dog. I know, but she she doesn't have to. There's no way to check. It's just a waste of time. Yo. It's like an extra 40 bucks for nothing. <laughs> like, you don't have to do it. It's like five bucks. The, I know, the dog can't tell, tell them, hey, she, that lady did not massage me, just so you know. <laughs> Itemized receipt. <laughs> Says massage here, but look at him. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, oh, geez. No. <laughs> There's a lot of scams you can do. Oh, totally. Yeah. Rotating my tires. Yeah. Well, oh, you spun them around? <laughs> <laughs> How am I gonna know? Yeah. It's a circle. <laughs> what? Nah, Shout nah, out to Hunter. Nah, yeah, that's crazy. Hunter, Hunter came up with that that's bit. Crazy. I developed it, but Hunter said to me, you know, Graydon's mom offers dog massages. <laughs> yeah, he didn't develop that bit. He just had genuine questions. Yeah, he had a question, <laughs> but yeah, that's, no. so, that's one of my favorite premises. It's yeah. just like, the moment Long he told me that, I was like, Literally. Wow. <laughs> this is something that you never check. You can't. It's, it's an unchecked business. Yeah. You gotta just trust that the dog groomer actually like likes dogs and wants to relieve them of their stress. And the rotating the tires thing. I thought of that in the moment. Yeah. That's true. It's like, how would you? <laughs> Three, two, one. Remble. We're going with Doge's. Remble received a 7.6 and Doja received a 7.8. Oh mm. my gosh. Bow! <laughs> it's gonna be a long day if you watch my cock. <laughs> Yo. What's up, Pitchfork? I'm looking for a job. I just killed my co-host, so I'm unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> if y'all need some zany, wacky, funny action over there, me and DJ Grant could be there tomorrow or something. I don't know. I don't got much going on this weekend. <laughs> I'm gonna put on Riley's gravestone. Never really learned how to use chopsticks properly. Thanks for watching. This was another edition of which album Pitchfork ranked higher. Don't forget to like and subscribe. All that stuff that my dad co-host said in the beginning. Um, thanks to Amazon Music again for sponsoring this video. Super cool. Thank you. It means a lot. And um, if you want us to play this game again, if you had fun playing it with us, Yo. send Grant some classic albums that Pitchfork reviewed either surprisingly high surprisingly low um thanks again for watching Hive Mind Riley do you have I any literally, I literally made that dad joke earlier today bro advice for the Come people on, man. yeah um I don't think it's that important to use chopsticks I mean we thought of the fork okay Steel and Jerry Seinfeld bits again <laughs> see you next time <laughs> did I hit all the marks <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> I love doing your little dead boy. I don't. I think. The, I think the dog massage has it, bro. That Wait, one was I actually really how funny. Long that was. <laughs> Graydon just does a full outro, a long <laughs> full outro while I'm sitting there dead. There's an Amazon Music sponsorship. <laughs>
That is the craziest. I did not. Yo. Thanks again to Amazon Music. <laughs> it's super cool. Thank you. <laughs> These are two old timers kind of going up against each other. I know. I kind of don't know where to go. One of them's a little headier. I think Amazon has The other one's just not physical lie. comedy. Yeah. Let's leave it at eighty. Grant, what are we doing? Grant shoots Riley. Okay. okay. Shout out Lisa though. Really? Now we got Graydon. Would you like to Amazon's leave it, versus bro. summoning the Kool Aid Man? And Graydon, would you like to leave? Yes. Mm. <laughs> cool. <laughs> I'll see you later, by the way. Right, that's good. Cool. You're good. <laughs> All right, this has been High Mind TV. We'll see you next yeah. one. We love you. We appreciate you. And we'll see you in the next video. <laughs> <laughs> You can just hear a can open. <laughs> a beer opening. Yeah. And then also, the hive mind watermark goes away as you hear that sound, and it was an accident. Oh, I did not do that on purpose in editing. It just didn't stretch all the way to the end of the clip. So it, just didn't. <laughs> it, is it's good. it is good. But it's going up against this. So. That is this so is my funny. favorite list yet. <laughs> These are truly essentials. Well, you could live off this for the rest of your life. You could not. Sure. There's no water in there. How do you think the coal is a liquid? Well, okay, <laughs> sure. Fine. Whatever. And then you can eat the soap and you can clean yourself with the Eggos and you use the Kool-Aid to summon the Kool-Aid man <laughs> if you ever find yourself in a pinch. <laughs> You've never emptied out a Kool-Aid packet, bro. made a pentagram, slit your wrists over it, Yo. and a little blood, and then, poof, Kool-Aid man appears, Yo. and you can give him one task, kind of like a me-seeks, but more satanic, <laughs> yeah. and then he'll take care of that task, top you off, and then he's gone for the day. Just the way you navigate life, kind of your touch points are not similar oh to mine. It's becoming hard to be relatable to you. You've never done that. No, I've never made a pentagram out of Kool-Aid powder. <laughs> Summon the Kool-Aid man so he can come here. I give him one task. He goes and does it, then tops me off and he's on his way. No, that's never Yo. happened. Yo, did you fucking drink it? Yeah, sometimes I drink Kool-Aid. Yo. He doesn't show up if you drink it. Don't you have something he could do? I, I'm, I, I'm so sorry, I've never been in a pinch and thought, hey, I really wish the Kool-Aid man was here. He to do one task for me, then give me a blowjob. Think, Yo. man, he's infinite strength. He knows like 40 no, languages. He's merciless. He'll kill babies, old women, whatever is in his way. He'll destroy them. Listen, he can't be linked to the crime. I'm You're off the hook. <laughs> Listen, I'm happy for you, man. I like that you have a life that is so exciting. Did you ever get the she busy right now, little bro text? <laughs> bruh. I don't, yo. I be seeing those on Twitter, bruh. Unfortunate, man. Unfortunate, bro. At that point, bruh, you gotta just take that up. Me personally. I, I ain't doing much about it, bruh. Brent, but mine like, is dude, just not crazy. relatable, so I'd like to get just Like, that's back. crazy. I know this one anyway. Three, two, one. Eleven from Stranger Things. Kodak Black. It's <laughs> 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 always special when the guess is in there. Yeah, because the guess is after that whole thing. Eleven from Stranger Things and Kodak Black. That bit, though, is just something else. There's just yeah. special, man. Yeah. I gotta give all things cool to Dane Cook, it. really. <laughs> You know, he started Kool-Aid Man bits, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he planted a seed in my head at a very young age about the Kool-Aid mm. Man. He's merciless. <laughs> <laughs> he can't be linked to the crime. It wins easily. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like guilt. It does. Guilt. Don't you have something he could do? <laughs> I got my cousin dying in my own arms versus I'm sorry, Em. Uh. These are two of my favorites of all time. I can't believe this is a first rounder. I will probably go my whole life and never see this. There's a lot of things I thought I'd go my whole life without seeing. Boy, uh. boy, was I wrong? Inflation, Yo. interest rates at 10%, gas prices this high, the US dollar being worth more than the euro, a president falling asleep talking, That's the cool. Eagles being 8 0. <laughs> Donovan Mitchell in a Cavs jersey, never thought I'd see that. Yep. My own cousin die in my own arms. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah. Crystal Pepsi coming back, I never thought I'd see that. <laughs> I didn't real? Yeah, no, yeah. It's not. My Yo. uncle dying in my own arms. Oh, shit. Yo. Uncle Day too. after my cousin died in my own Yo. arms. Yeah. Stuff like that. Seems like a coincidence. Uh-huh. Yeah. Flamin' hot Mountain Dew. I mean, why are they, what are they selling up uh, yeah, here, you know uh, what I mean? Uh, yeah, my aunt died. Uh, my Jesus. <laughs> the day after my uh, uncle yeah. died, subsequently after my cousin died. Subsequently. Wow. Whatever. <laughs> like they were 
Oh, you missed the dust. I'm telling you guys right now. This doesn't seem like the right setting. No, maybe the dill pickle flavored glaze. Yeah, right. Those weird flavor. I'm not lying. Those weren't bad. They weren't that bad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Weird. Yeah. My but grandpa they that died bad. in my own arms. <laughs> <laughs> the day after my aunt died in my own arms, yeah. which is the day after my uncle died in my own arms, which is the day after my cousin died in my own arms. Yeah. You just gotta chalk it up to bad luck. Yeah, that's that a, that a rough week, Riley. <laughs> yeah, it was a, it was a tough one. <laughs> Electric cars. Wow. Wow. Yeah, that's never insane. saw those never coming. Never saw those coming. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. That's, That's it? it? <laughs> That's all? You're done? That's all the crazy stuff? My infant son no! died. No! My grandpa died in my arms was the day after my aunt died in my own arms was the day after my uncle died in my own arms was the day after my cousin died in his own arms. Wow. Well, you're extremely well adjusted for all the grief that oh. you've suffered. Yeah. Yeah. And luckily I have a big wingspan. I was holding a lot of people that fifth day. <laughs> my fifth day was like, oh my god. <laughs> really piling yeah. on. Well, I mean, you can understand it'd be tough to, to let go. Yeah, to let go. Yeah. At least the last one was a baby. Oh yeah, I kind of fit yeah. right on top. It was almost like the cherry on top. Yeah. 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 Of like like family, family death Sunday. Yeah. Actually, it all, it all happened Monday through Friday. So yeah, a lot of time to watch the game. Yeah, hey, still got to catch the Eagles. Nah, yeah. This is insane. one of my favorites of all time. That's I love the knowledge between Graydon and you to like keep E involved in the bit. She's like ready to like you know kind of take it in a different direction. He's like I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it was completely off the cuff too. It yeah. was just a random thought that I had, and then I was like, oh, I could do this, I guess. Three, two, one. I put Not Afraid by Eminem. I put Drake Views! I put Without Me by Eminem. I think Riley got it. This is Till I Collapse. Oh, oh fuck! Oh my Crazy. god. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, Em. I should have never tried something. <laughs> 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 oh, my god. The eraser slap. I <laughs> like pink. It's just Nick's laugh. Just yeah. him getting up and doing that is just it makes it so crazy. Yeah. I'm sorry, Em. I also love Nick's guess. He just goes, Drake, view! <laughs> uh, it is my cousin dying. Yeah, the house. first one got it. Yeah, it the is. But it. I'm sorry, Em is such a funny yeah. moment. This thing thing was pretty funny. better looking than Nick, too. I will say that. I'm a neutral third party here, but that's a toss up for me. She is hot. All right, now we got Dignan didn't make double XL <laughs> versus I'm a misogynist. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. What's the point? Oh my god, what? <laughs> you put them on the list, they go on to have their own careers. Who cares? I mean, yeah, it's just like any award show or magazine cover. It's like, doesn't really matter who's on it. Yo. I know, but nothing to hang your head over, you know? <laughs> Listen, I know that you're pretty bummed that Dignan wasn't on the list this year, but to be fair, he's never released a song. It's just like that wouldn't make any sense. <laughs> better than everyone on there. That's fine, but he's the co-host of a semi-popular YouTube channel who doesn't even rap. He does, though. He raps to me in his car. It's really good. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Like, I'll give him words, I'll just say something. Yeah. And then the next line, he puts it in perfectly, no matter what cadence or flow he's using, he just incorporates what I say into a stream of consciousness rap that always flows perfectly. It's amazing. Yeah, I mean, listen, it's impressive, I'm sure, and it's fun, and it's cool, and I like the guy, but it would not make sense for the list, man. I mean, it just, they never pick somebody who's never released a song. He did the whole alphabet. Each word he started bar with was symbolic of the alphabet in order, and he went all the way to C. What do you use for X? Xylophone! Okay, <laughs> Xylophone is a fucking stick! It's just that voice Yo. that graded C is so All the way to C. <laughs> like, his Z is like empty. He just can't get it out. He's so sad. We've all come such a long way in this life. That's true. I used to make people proud. I don't believe that. Oh, yeah, for real. So yeah, back in the day, I used to do community service, used to take care of my old sick parents. Oh, like you. Yeah, I switched up on them. Nowadays, it feels like you just kind of like take whatever drug people give you, you sleep through work, yeah. you kind of lay around, you yell mean stuff at people, you uh-huh. get drunk and don't remember it. Yeah. Misogynist. What? what? <laughs> That's it. You love it when I do it. Oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> what I mean, it's not so bad being a misogynist now, huh? It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> you can call me your dirty little massage anist. I don't think yeah. that's a good idea to go with. <laughs> Just, I know, I, yeah. I I'm guess. like an artist of the body. Holy I fuck. I mean, yeah. I'm a massage I guess. <laughs> 
Dude, I'm starting to, to hate women. <laughs> <laughs> it needs that punchline at the end. That's, That's all it comes does. down to is that. I'm starting yeah. to hate women. This feels so good. <laughs> I like that much better than I like Dignan didn't make. Me too. Yeah. Now we yeah. got Showtime Sweeney versus Riley's Raichu impression. Yeah. It's Sweeney from the outside. Yes! Sweeney drives through the lane with an emphatic slam! Who's Sweeney? Sydney Sweeney. <laughs> Sydney Sweeney. Yeah, she's back on this. She's in the arena. She is? Sweeney with a steal. Oh, windmill dunk showtime, Sweeney! Yo. Sweeney from a different area code! Yes! Sweeney uh, wanted to foul on that one. <laughs> Sydney Sweeney of Euphoria! With the windmill dunk! And the Lakers are feeling some euphoria tonight, folks! Coach Judd Apatow has chosen to take a timeout here. Sweeney to Tom Holland. <laughs> Down to Jason Momoa on the block. Spin move! Slam! And Sweeney and Curry are barking at each other at half court. We're gonna have to break them up. What a season for Sweeney! Unlimited range on that chick. <laughs> <laughs> chick. Yeah. It's just the word chick. Unlimited range on that chick. I love Sweeney and Curry barking at each other. <laughs> oh, they're gonna have to break them up. <laughs> we both tap into that voice, so it was good that we're able to go back and forth yeah. to do that. Yes! Mm, I think we could build a bulimic society. Yellowtail? Bulbasaur? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Charmander? It's like, where are you sometimes? Like, what world are you in? Uh, I've been working on a new impression, by the way. This, okay. is, this is my Raichu impression. Oh, great. Let's hear it. I'm Raichu. <laughs> I'm an early Pokemon. Use Thunderbolt, they say. Mm. They say use Thunderbolt. Mm. I'm so happy you evolved me into Raichu. <laughs> it's a wonderful Pokemon as well. <laughs> Not a lot of credit for Raichu. It's all about Pikachu. Pikachu's everybody's favorite. <laughs> Little did I know, Pikachu ruined the economy. He did, he did a very bad he job. He did a bad job with the <laughs> I'm gonna do a good job, buddy. Zap zap, I'm a bigger mouse. Zap zap, I'm a bigger mouse. <laughs> oh, that one's really good. I love the idea of like, who Raichu's evolved from is also Trump's predecessor. Yeah, so it's, yeah, it's <laughs> Obama is Pikachu, so yeah. naturally Raichu would be Trump. Right, I think I like that one a little better than Sweeney. Oh, Oh, I'm way more. You're on Sweeney. Yeah, I'm Showtime Sweeney. All right, let's do that. Yeah, Sweeney, maybe. All right, Sweeney now we got was funny. Camp that one was funny. Those horses are like beasts. S tier. I'm a drainer. Drain, 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 private. <laughs> <laughs> that draining camp. It's super hard. <laughs> drain, private, drain. <laughs> private, your mama raised you to drain like that. <laughs> You think if our boys would have drained like that in World War II, we'd still be standing on American soil? Drain, private! Drain! Yeah. Harder! Take pills, private! More pills! <laughs> you create them, private! More jewelry, private! Earrings, necklace, pearls, lip rings, nose rings. Get out of the shower, private. That's not how you drain. You need to sweat and sleep in the sweat. And stick up every room you walk into. If you're gonna wanna drain in my platoon. Enough neo-traditional tattoos, private. You need more sticking posts. Drain! Yeah, a, real, a, a crowned bit amongst Too the community. Real. And I will say, I think the most underrated part of it is the whistle. Oh, yeah. Yep. You can almost see the character form at whistle. It goes, you do. And then boom, it's like, Drain, there it is. And then there's one more little, I love this bit, but it is definitely the most overrated yeah. amongst our fans. People say this is the number one bit of all time. No. And maybe it's just because it's so niche, because it's just about drainers. I mean, it's it's mm. good, though. I, there are parts that I don't think I it's the best bit of all time. It. Like, it's not. The neo-traditional tattoo. Yeah. Yeah. Just right. stick and pokes, the Kratom private, like we did the drainer barbecue too. Yeah. <laughs> Same mm. thing, like it's, it's thick southern accent, just about drain. There's something funny about making drainer culture and tying it to anything else. Rural <laughs> conservative <laughs> specific. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whoa, cowboy. Rigid. Rigid as a horse. <laughs> he stays still. 
those horses are like beasts. Do you think <laughs> <laughs> if you were in a barn, a barn with a horse, do you think you could kill it with just your bare hands before you either die or the horse kills you? Yeah. What? Yeah, I know a spot. Are you going to tell us? I know the spot on a horse where you can kill it. Okay, yeah. where is it? Go ahead. Here's a little, I'll give you a hint. I'm not going to tell you exactly where it's at. What? It's on the inside. Yeah, you have to <laughs> get in there. Are you talking about the heart? The brain, perhaps? <laughs> and guess which way you go in. <laughs> yeah, the horse's heart yeah. is lo like located closer to its stomach, and if you can get about here, you can get the heart and bring it out. Yo. Oh yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's from the country. Yo. I used to have two horses, Poker and Teddy. Poker and Teddy. Yo. Why are you looking? Whoa! I didn't mean it like that. I was just surprised. I was like, why? I didn't name them. Cowboys did. <laughs> oh, the horses are like beasts. I feel like this might not even be a bit in a lot of people's minds. Yeah, like they're not thinking that this it's is not. a good bit, but it's this not. killed us. <laughs> like, there's something about the way he says those horses are like beasts. Do you think like, you goes straight to the next? thing like before you could even laugh at that weird cadence he uses he's on to the next thing. I have to give some training like, camera. What? and then he just blows by it. and the underrated part about this bit is that he says before either you die or the horse kills you so like <laughs> that's not an actual either or that he no. has it doesn't make any way sense you're dead. sadly I don't think it can beat drain camp but to me horses like beasts are a little funny that's a funnier Ooh. moment to me too but you know we've done enough upsetting our fans base through other brackets. Yeah. Training camp is a better, yeah. more classic bit. Now we got free ticket to crazy town versus mm. cootie impression. <laughs> he's been really depressed lately. Yeah, no, I, I hope he's doing so crazy. okay. Yeah. I think it's good though. You shouldn't feel crazy all the time. But if you could, would you? No. If there was a come down if you were always just on the rise up, you know what I'm talking about? If you could just no. ride the crazy wave for the rest no. of your life, would you? No. Drink with no hangover? Wake up feeling just as crazy as the night before? Yeah, I get No. I mean, would you? No. If you had one ticket to crazy town, <laughs> would you take it? <laughs> Probably not. It's a free ticket. <laughs> I mean, ask someone else, and if you can't find anyone, I, I guess I can clear my schedule. I mean, can you just imagine it? Insanity front to back. Yeah. Never a dull moment. Yeah, no, I don't think I'd like yeah, that. Sounds exhausting. Me, I'd kill for it. Oh, shit. <laughs> kill who? Borderline anybody. <laughs> no, just about to say, don't, don't say anybody. You can't say you. Borderline anybody. <laughs> That's gonna... Certain people that I want to kill. Like, yeah, I just hope. Just a few, though. I hope I'm just a few, this though. Ride <laughs> it's crazy. It's I get a it. crazy ride. <laughs> I got it. Yeah. The yeah. whole way through. Right on. In a Lincoln town car. Oh, <laughs> crazy about Lincoln. <laughs> of course, it's a McConaughey thing. Yeah, at the end. <laughs> oh, you know it's a McConaughey Yeah, I know. The moment I say, rise up. I love how he, uh, when you offer drinking with no hangover, he's in. But then it's like, <laughs> but also still feeling as crazy as you were the night before. And then he's like, no, no, no. I'm, not <laughs> but I'm like, me, I'd kill for it. He's like, oh shit! Oh, shit. <laughs> Somebody go a pancake through the wire. Come on, shout out to Cootie. Yeah. <laughs> when Kanye asked me to do the through the wire video, I couldn't say no, despite it being my daughter's first birthday. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kanye told me to eat shit and die. <laughs> And that's when I knew it was time to spend time with my family. Although my wife and kids did not recognize me, I had the tapes to prove that I was friends with Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> and then Kanye threw a brick through my living room window. And that's when I knew it was time to reunite with my brother. <laughs> we were going back on tour. Uh, uh, another one that got us into a lot of trouble. Yeah, nah, that, that actually was got really taken funny. off of you TikTok had to that the, clip did for bullying. You had to watch the Kanye documentary to get that one. Honestly, that one that one's funny, bro. Cootie. I feel like we were quite <laughs> misunderstood in our yeah. angle yeah. of that. We love Cootie, and yeah. we love the documentary. This wasn't it was meant great. to like rag on Cootie like we didn't no. like him. We liked him and what he offered to that documentary. Yeah, it was just For pointing sure. out like that's a true thing in the documentary. Is that like <laughs> he talks about these tragic situations or like Literally. family things that are kind of overridden by Kanye's ego. Right, and so that was really the whole play we were Literally. doing, but in a way that was like you know appreciative of Cootie. It was yeah. not not supposed to be like, ha ha, look at this guy who just follows Kanye around. But Crazy Town's <laughs> a lot better as a bit for me. I think it's close. I think if we had the other part of the Cootie impressions with like the Julia Fox jokes yeah. and stuff, mm. that might have like tipped in, okay. tipped the scales a little bit. But yeah, I think Crazy Town's probably a little better. And okay. Cootie made $30 million dollars off of that. Yeah, it's hard to bully that man that rich. Hard yeah. to bully a man that rich. But also, I, I mean, hey, he deserves it. Absolutely. He, does. he had the foresight to follow Kanye around and release it at just the right time, right yeah. before nobody would watch it. 
it. Low yep. key. Think of the value now. If you were going to Netflix, hey, I got all this footage, and they're like, we don't care. Yeah, <laughs> they literally wouldn't take the documentary now. Yeah, I didn't even all. think about that. Yeah, that's crazy. That bro. is insane. Now we got Dignus. Yo, W. Cootie, bruh. Crazy. Fine spinning career versus I would have sex with a dolphin. <laughs> Detroit? Dude, I completely forgot to ask you about this. Hmm. The other day when I was driving, I saw one of those Little Caesars guys out spinning the sign like for the pizza place, and it looked just like you. <laughs> no, it have didn't. You, have you been doing that? No, it didn't. What the hell? No, it didn't look like, just like me. What are you talking about? Have you been picking up shifts <laughs> as the sign guy at Little Caesars? <laughs> you did not see what you thought you saw. You must have been high or <laughs> having a common illusion. That was not me, no. okay? Are you crying? <laughs> this is, I was just wondering if you were spinning a sign at Little Caesars. It's not that big of a deal. No, I'm not crying. Yeah, the five dollar <laughs> hot and ready is not five dollars anymore. So what? It's nothing to cry over. They still have great deals. It's still one of the top sign spinning jobs you can get in the industry. A bit the I mean, the industry. head and heels <laughs> above a car wash or something, or like a uh, Metro PCS. The Little Caesars jobs, like one of the top ones for sign spinning. <laughs> yes. You better watch your tone. And anyway, it wasn't me. Okay. I didn't know sign spinning was an industry. I mean, there's a ranking of sign spinning. Right, now you pissed me off. It was me, motherfucker. And I'm the best goddamn sign spinner on Six Mile. And you, Joey, Bryce, and Angelica, they can get fucked. That's my block. I'm the sign spinner. I invented the triple twirl. And I'm the first one to ever stand on his own sign. I spun it. And I stood right on top of it like a little perch. And it kept spinning. And so did I. And I'm not going to stop. Just because some big wig from Hollywood. I... <laughs> <laughs> you know what? You struck a nerve, buddy. You just really, Yo. really struck a nerve. How about you don't drive around anymore to places you don't need to go? <laughs> Are Joe, Bryce, and Angelica other sign spinners? <laughs> yeah. I don't... I, you can call them that. I don't I care. I'm not invested in the drama of the sign spinning community. Just I will end this town. <laughs> oh, I will end Yo. it. Joker style. Let me show you a little bit. That was, that was pretty cool. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. Yikes. Yeah. Who's the big dog on Six Mile now? A long one, but long one, one of my favorites it's all of right. all time. It's pretty Fringe good. Character. It's pretty good. Yeah, he's losing it. Losing his grip. He has these two lives going. All right. And unfortunately, they've collided. And I like that he, he's so unfortunate. He's very sensitive. Yeah, he's yeah. like, he's like you, better, you better watch your tongue. Anyway, it wasn't me. And then he's like, all right, gigs up. Yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck yeah. up. You pissed me off. <laughs> it was me, motherfucker. I mean, are you willing to go on record for $25 million? Would you have sex with a dolphin yes <laughs> okay i was excited. sorry can you ask it again i want to answer it faster okay. <laughs> are you willing to go on record for 25 million dollars to fuck a dolphin yes <laughs> i think i i think that would have counted on jeopardy yeah, like, right. like i think i buzzed in perfectly okay, so correct time but yes i would how long would you have a sexual relationship for a dolphin would it be the rest of your life you have access to that not the rest of my life at some point i'm gonna have to come like i think you know what i mean i don't think i have the endurance to do yeah. the rest of my life let alone maybe even 10 minutes with that court group yeah. pussy yeah. <laughs> Yeah, they've got a vortex vagina. Would you have sex three times a week with a dolphin? Yes. Okay. That's, that's, <laughs> for what? I don't know. Twenty yes. million dollars. <laughs> Yes. Jeez. Because you have to move to Florida. Uh, oh, yo. No. My favorite thing is mixing up a corkscrew <laughs> yeah. and a dolphin's vagina. Uh, right. A duck famously with a corkscrew dick. Dolphin famous vortex vagina. <laughs> yo. You said corkscrew pussy. <laughs> <laughs> on record, I asked you before about the record. Yeah, no, yeah. You said on record, were you willing to say, yeah. And then yeah. you said all of that. I did. I said yo. all of that. That's awesome. Yeah, that's, that one's like very unhinged. Yeah. I I remember people commenting and being like, is it just me or is this one particularly off the rails? Like, <laughs> like, this is something a little fun for even us to do. <laughs> it was, man. It really was. I'm going to go with Dignan's sign spinning career, so I don't think we don't have to talk yeah. about the dolphin anymore. I'm yeah. going with the dolphin thing. Grant, we're going to let you decide. Sign spinning. <laughs>
Science Spinning. Yeah, Science Spinning. Okay. Science Spinning. That's science like spinning. what I'm worried about with my mom ever, like if she ever watched. You worried about this. that bit? Yeah, yeah like bits <laughs> like that. Yeah. It takes so many steps of watching our show to get to the place where she would understand me saying that and not be horrified. Yeah, she'll never take those She's steps. never going to take those steps. And so if she ever sees that one just out of context, so I would be sad. Yeah, <laughs> Your own doing. Man, I guess so. Now we got the your GGs. iron worker, Harry, versus Dignan Zuzumba Zaffodil. Uh, Zuzumba Daffodil, I remember that. Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Join the union! <laughs> Construction of oh, Harry. Oh, oh, Harry versus Dignan oh, oh, Zuzumba oh, Zaffodil. Oh, oh, oh. You're an iron worker, Harry. <laughs> Join the union. <laughs> Construction worker, Harry. Ron, you're a lift driver. <laughs> He's like, God damn it. <laughs> Hermione, you're a barista. <laughs> Yo. Ron's in a union. <laughs> you're a substitute teacher, Jenny. <laughs> I love bringing the working class into any sort of fantasy. Yeah, it's good For that real. it just uses the cadence of one famous line from Harry Potter yeah. and then assigns all of the characters mundane jobs <laughs> in the modern era. Yeah, it's that's awesome. awesome. Like, wow. Yeah. Weird mogul white guys, do they always just call them their initials? I like going by DZ, my initials. I thought your last name was Durkin. Oh. What? What'd you think my last name was? Durkin. Ah, oh, man. You've told me that many times you said it's Dignan Durkin. Never did. <laughs> it's Zazumba. Zazumba. <laughs> yeah, that's actually the short version too. What's the full last name? Zazumba Zaffodil. Zazumba Zaffodil. Uh -huh. I dropped the second one. It's a long family story. I don't really want to get into it, but yeah. Sounds like it'd be a long family story. It's a long family name. Holy <laughs> shit. Okay, now we're dragging my family through the mud. Zazumba Zaffodil. Chill! It's just Zazumba now. <laughs> okay, sorry. I don't I don't mean to disrespect the Zazumba family, but you told me your last name was Durkin. And all of your siblings have B names, so you said that that was why. Like your brother Yo, Dunlap. It's Zazumba. Dunlap's a Zumba? I don't even want to talk about Dunlap, dude. <laughs> What's wrong with Dunlap? He was cool. He was like 50 bucks. 50 bucks and you're that? You don't even want to mention him? Fuck, <laughs> fuck him for $50. Dude, turn his back on his Zaffodil family. I don't know, man. He was cool when I met him. He had a bunch of sick video games. You can call me Dizzy. Oh Disney my god. Alright. I would prefer to just call you Dignan. Okay. I like Durkin way more. Okay, great. I wish your last name was... Frevels. Riley Frevels? Yes. Okay. We're getting sidetracked. Yeah, we're getting sidetracked. Go. We got shit we have to do. We have to do this Stop. video. But yeah. Dignan Zazumba, everybody. <laughs> yes. It's not, you don't have to comment. It, yep, yeah, that one's not a bit to me, really. I still, uh, yeah, whatever. I don't <laughs> understand. For years, you've been saying Durkin to me as your last name. What's that, What's that about? So we're going to show you all straight. Straighten out. Yo. I'm glad we don't bring it up that much anymore because that is like, I, I still am just, what are you doing? It's Harry Potter for me, man. <laughs> you been in the gym? No. It's the Harry thing. Harry. It's Harry. Yeah. <laughs> Last one in the first round. We've got $490 or dinner with Conan O'Brien versus real wedding traditions. <laughs> oh. Would you rather $490 bucks or have dinner with Conan O'Brien? $490? Why is it so specific? That's how much I got in my wallet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Conan's outside. So, quick, make a decision. <laughs> Shit. Uh, He's waiting. <laughs> yeah, he's huge. He's tall. He's funny. Mm -hmm. um, kind of like a late night king. Yeah. Lisp Riz. Let's do Conan. Con I, I don't have dinner plans for right, tonight. Definitely so not. Conan. Cool. Yes. Yeah, Mr. O'Brien. Yep, no. Oh, no. He's going to. What? The creepy Andy Richter's not going to be there, right? Uh, let me check. Okay. Yeah, he's ready to go to dinner. Um, It's just a table for two, right? For the re Three. Why is it three? Oh, Richter's? No. Richter's coming? Nix it. No, I'm not going with Richter. He's a creep. I mean, he'll take the money. Is that our... Yeah. Yep. See if he can get Richter to leave. See if Richter can, like, go to the library or something. Does he read? Are Yo. you willing to take 90 bucks off me? <laughs> Wait, why am I going to... It was El Riz. <laughs> I'm honest. Can you pay Andy 90 bucks not to come to dinner? <laughs> and still give my client the money? No? I don't need the money. Oh. Just give the money to Richter. Oh, give the money to Richter and tell him to scram. <laughs> All right, Conan. Yep. He'll be right out. Can I come? No. Oh, yeah, no. Stupid question. Sorry. All right, see <laughs> You're going to Sloppy Chops with Conan. Oh, sloppy Brian. Chops. Let's go. Yes. I, actually, I haven't been there. I've heard good things, though. I'm excited for you. You're going to want to dry off your hands, though. They're very wet. They are wet. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that is so cool. That's why Conan it works. Yeah. Sloppy <laughs> Chops. Work for you. Old me at Sloppy Chops with Conan. <laughs> work. Oh, I mean, who would have thought? Get another real restaurant. <laughs> yeah. I love that. <laughs> also, this is however old, and Sloppy Chops wasn't open then. They just had the sign up. Still not open now. Oh, really? Still Bro. just a sign. <laughs> 
I didn't know oh, that. No I love that one. Yeah, this is like one of the most convincing Imagine. fake phone call bits we've ever done. <laughs> yeah. it, it really oh flows God. nice. It like, actually I, is a real I, restaurant. I thought that was a joke. Okay. Wow. That's insane, bro. Yeah, no, stupid question. <laughs> Give the money to Richter and tell him to scram. And the fact that you mix up like who's getting like the money <laughs> versus the, the money. dinner. <laughs> like, I'm not negotiating with you. Take all of ninety it, bucks off of it. It's just bro. such a stupid premise. But yeah. I wish it was real though. Yeah, I wish I had four hundred ninety bucks in my wallet. Those were different times. If you guys mm. could come together, unite for a good cause, and get Conan to have us on his podcast. Doesn't he have a podcast mm. now? He's got. Yeah, he does. He does yeah. have a he podcast. We would love to go on the Conan that would be podcast. Really nice. Please. I think it's called Cone Town. Tim and Stavros. <laughs> Stavros Yo. laugh track. Well, um, you got to think at least 700 million of those are weddings. Ah. Mm. You know, can't uh -huh. you see like father daughter dancing oh, to this? Yeah. Or maybe father dad dancing to this? Father mm. dad, two dads. <laughs> two dads <laughs> dancing? That's okay. Yeah, that's fine, but it's not. <laughs> I don't think dad. it's what you're trying to say. Well, the father dad dance at a wedding. The father dad dance? Yeah, it's like, so the bride's father dances with the groom's dad. <laughs> it's a big thing at weddings mm -hmm. and it's usually choreographed and kind of like <laughs> like it's a hitter it's not like a slow dance if you think about it we're kind of all doing a father-daughter dance with father time oh yeah and that's a slow dance mf -er. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Ed writes wedding jams, man. Yeah. This is like when the two grandmas on each side kind of cartwheel down the aisle with the rings. What are the weddings <laughs> that you're going to, man? I mean, what are you talking about? <laughs> the, like, I mean, there are wedding traditions out there that I'm not familiar with. I mean, now there's different cultures and all that, and I'm, I'm, I'm hip to that, but this is different. Man. It's called Grandma's Last Wheel. <laughs> and it's the last time the grandmas get to do cartwheels, and they do them Yo. with their fingers interlocked, and they kind of do them together. Yo. What? I've seen it at least three times this last summer. At summer. least three what times the hell, last oh summer. Oh my god. But this is a classic jam for that. I mean, you just imagine. It's pretty easy to imagine. It's not ridiculous. <laughs> Seems pretty ridiculous to me, but what I guess. What the hell does your family do? <laughs> I just remember at my sister's wedding, my dad juggling the family coconuts, and then whichever one falls first, everyone eats a little bite of. He was doing it to the song. Oh, God. There's a lot going on at the wedding, so. A lot. <laughs> a lot of different. A lot of, a lot of different Ed Sheeran songs are playing as well. It's kind of. Oh, no, it's, yeah. it dominates the wedding playlist. Yeah. And this is at a different part of the wedding. Oh, yeah. This is the reception. Oh, yeah. This is when they burn the bride's dress and she puts on the groom's tuxedo. What are you talking about? What happens at the end? They, 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 I don't know, man. Maybe I leave weddings early or something. <laughs> what happens at the end? You don't know that? Oh, my God, dude. The weddings I go to are so boring. Both parents walk a tiki torch down the aisle and ignite the bottom of the bride's dress and she's kind of hoisted out of the dress and put into the groom's tuxedo. <laughs> he then naked rolls around in butter and honey and coats himself in feathers and almonds and climbs up a tree and does the old mating call that the pagans taught us. Coo -coo -coo -coo. <laughs> Be my wife, be my wife. And then they go off in like an old car with cans on it or whatever. Okay, now I remember Yo. that part. <laughs> I remember the cans part. Your problem is the open bar. You cannot hold your liquor. That's your you look, get yes. absolutely Yikes. crazy. I don't really remember most weddings I've been to. Yeah. Wedding wow. wow. traditions. Wow. That one is long because it happens in three different or four different parts of the video or something. It has some refrains. I, uh, it's hard because one of them's like a really tight thing. Yeah. Like I think the Conan one is like. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe like a more well-rounded hive mind bit. As it's I think, just like I think it's a better joke. The I think Conan has to get it only because of like it, it doesn't feel crazy. You know what I mean? The wedding traditions, like that one feels crazy. Number one is like more creative and ridiculous and yeah. outlandish. It is. I'd say we let Grant decide. I'll take the Conan dinner. Conan yeah. dinner over wedding traditions, huh? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. I kind of like that. Go like, you back. know, like deep down, I think that's what my heart was saying, but I just didn't. I thought that people would like the wedding traditions one more. Now we're into the second round. Let's go. Now it gets serious. Here Cut throat. No more clips. We're just playing it out. Less analysis. Right. Dignan West Side Gun versus She's a Walk. Banger. You know, I West forgot Gun. about She's a Walking Banger until just today, and I kind of like it more than the West Side Gun. I'm gonna choose Dignan West Side Gun yeah. because I think that it, it's just a better formula for the way that those lines are written, because they're different enough from a West Side Gun bar, where they're your version of that yeah. that is just random. Mm. It's up to you. It's like West Side Gun. She's a Walking Banger is underrated, though. Now we got Old Timers Sing Modern Lyrics versus Riley Eats Cat Shit. It's Old Timers. Cat Shit for me. That's still one that... I feel like it's part of your DNA. 
on the show. Yeah, that's true. I do love the crooning. I think it's more impressive. The old timers thing is a little more impressive as a for bit. For sure. But the cat shit one is probably more laugh out loud funny for yeah. just like falling apart. But I'm going to go mm. with old timers. I think old timers is funnier than me. Yes. Cat shit. It's okay. funnier than me. All right. Sandra Bullock in the NFL versus Kimbra Got Yay. I appreciate your wordplay, but I appreciate the visual of Sandra Bullock in the NFL more. It's a close one for me. Eh, I'm going to stand on my NFL. wordplay. For just for just this one time, Grant. Show me Sandra. All right. We could do like a one-liners bracket too. Yeah, there's enough of them. I just don't remember all of them. People would yeah, have to, people fish, would have them to fish them out. Yeah. But I mean, a one-liners bracket would move quick too, because we got some four. For sure. Here. Oh yeah. All right. My daddy was a door dasher versus my name's Dignan. Daddy is a door dasher for me. That's like a proper bit. I appreciate yeah. the origin story, as everyone else does too. Uh, all my adoring fans definitely appreciate a good yeah. origin story, but it's not. <laughs> That the DoorDasher one is something that I feel like could literally be like, like SNL might steal that, honestly. They might. Which is which is saying a lot because that's no whenever they steal a joke from like a YouTuber it's, it's always funny. Which so bit, you, know. you know, I mean, you do have the performance enhancers kind of flying into. I my feel like they might steal that. Right? That's <laughs> a bit. But Daddy is a DoorDasher. That's kind of like spawned a whole. That like opened up a new synaptic pathway. Oh, okay. synaptic pathway. I love that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love that you said that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And it made me think about not only comedy, but the rest of my life differently. I mm. like the idea that we're not going to agree. So I'm going to go with, I'm going <laughs> to let me keep making Grant decide. I'm going to go with my name's Dignan. Give me Diggy. All right, Steve-O okay. impression versus Great right, Mrs. His dead grandma. Come on, enough with Steve the dead grandma stuff. Steve That's depressing and sad, and we're just making fun of a man for mourning. Oh, it's Steve-O. Yeah. It's Steve big time Steve-O. All right, Daddy's Fancy Boat versus Bob Dylan Vapes now. I'll give it back to the wordplay here. Yeah, gotta be Vapes. And yeah, and just the happenstance conversation yeah. of smoking and Bob Dylan post Daddy's Fancy Boat shouldn't have made it past round one. And to begin with, honestly. Had to like and cover Bob. It was good, but like I said, bro. That was DSB got its flowers. It shouldn't have even probably gotten out of the first round no. in terms of comedy. At all. But yeah, you know. ESPN top 10 plays versus This Isn't Me. Oh, both top good 10. ones by you. It's top, top 10. 10 for me. It's mm -hmm. more elaborate, like far more elaborate. It has depth, and This Isn't Me is just like a moment. I think that like top 10 plays and cat shit yeah. both kind of work with the same <laughs> DNA of yeah. the type of bit that it is in terms of the dynamic. Dynamic, but I think top 10 plays is rivals cat shit too. Yeah. Like it's pretty funny. Now we got Stapleton versus killing your high school bully with a golf club. It's very easily mm. Stapleton for me. This really? One's close. Yeah, I don't know. I, it's the Cubano for cigars. <laughs> yeah. It's the child version of Chris Stapleton by having cigars. I don't know. That I don't to know, me is just bro. too funny. I think premise, easily golf club. Yeah, golf club was a really funny. Premise, but Stapleton, better execution. Yeah, just funnier. Mm. I'm going to leave it up to Grant. I'm going with golf club. I don't know. Yeah, this one's hard. Give me the golf club. Okay. Yeah, second oh, I'm time. not mad at I'm Seriously, I'm saying I'm going to kill the president versus Nick is a dead child. <laughs> Nick's had a good run, but it's got to be the horse joke. Yeah. Oh, it's the horse joke. Now we got my still 13-footer versus Riley couldn't come to spring 13 break. 13-footer. I like the still one a lot. I'm going to go with still as well. I feel like when it first came out, we Definitely made it a TikTok footer. and stuff, and I had heard it too many times, yeah. and it was, it is so long, but I have come to really appreciate it over time. Yeah. The Zoltar machine in there. Too. Yeah, it's just like, it's just so <laughs> rapid fire. Like, the delivery of that. That one, it just never stops. It just is like relentless, you know? <laughs> All right, now we got SpongeBob and I got Haze together versus CJ is addicted to blue cheese. <laughs> uh, I go heavy blue CJ. Cheese. Yeah. To me, yeah. addicted to blue cheese, there's something about that bit that just gets me. The SpongeBob <laughs> one I cheese. absolutely love, but it does feel more rooted in other things, whereas yeah. the CJ is addicted to blue cheese is just comedy. Like, it doesn't, yeah. it's not based on anything. You know? The SpongeBob one's like a Shawshank Redemption meets Stand By Me, you know? I mean, it meets that bit by Please Don't Destroy from the SNL. They did a bit about SpongeBob being in their like in their high school class or oh, something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's CJ. The perk, microdosing perks is something I've always wanted to say. <laughs> <laughs> the opportunity. Graydon shoots Riley oh, yeah. versus summoning the Kool-Aid man. In the shooting bit, that's the only outro Graydon's ever really done. So to yeah. me, it's very sentimental. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's different for the show. I think I think the Kool-Aid man though is funny only because he tops you off before he disappears. 
for sure. That, in that a non comedic funny. way, it means I have to a give lot to, to me. Man. But it's that was such a random add on. This is a blowout. Yeah, the Kool Aid Man one is just it's crazy. Yeah. All right, my cousin dying in my own arms versus I'm a misogynist. Misogynist. Just my cousin dying in my own arms. Yeah. Easy. Yeah, I agree. With that. I think misogynist got it. Showtime Sweeney versus Draining Camp. This one's tough. They're kind Showtime of in the same Sweeney. ballpark, if you know what I mean. Well, Definitely I'm Showtime Sweeney. <laughs> Whatever. You get what I'm saying. I like Sweeney man. because they had a good. They had like I think better dynamic. You know, we're going back and forth with a bit, which shows how I'm Sweeney, I think. I think Draining Camp, like, you know, it was there, but it just wasn't as, you know, intense, I feel like. Pause. That sounds kind of crazy. I like Sweeney you know more, I mean, too. Though. I know you that's going mean. to upset people, but yeah. I really think the Sweeney bit is just funnier. When she swings it to Tom Holland and when she, <laughs> her and Curry are barking at yep. each other. <laughs> you start down, to... Down to Momoa on the block, too. Yeah. That's like a, come on. That's good stuff. Coach Judd Apatow. <laughs> now we got a free ticket to Crazy Town versus Dignan's sign-spinning career. I don't know crazy where you I think I'm leaning towards sign-spinning career. Ah, these are close, though. I gotta go. This is I like go right spinning. down the middle. I mean, crazy town. Crazy town. Double it and give us the next person. Grant, what do you? What do you? <laughs> I'll, do, uh, I'll take uh, take the science spinning career. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Now you're an iron worker, Harry versus four hundred and ninety dollars for dinner with Conan O'Brien. I like the Conan one a little here. The Harry one's too quick. Yeah, I feel that. Mm, Conan's like a okay. fleshed out, like it's like a skit, you know. I feel like there's a lot of bits like the you're an iron worker, Harry, that yeah. we do in every video, where we yeah. just kind of like go back and forth one at a time, yeah. coming up with things to say in a certain voice, whereas. Mm. $490 mm. or dinner with Conan O'Brien, like that could never happen again. Right. All right, next Real. round. Okay. Digging West Side Gun versus Riley Eats Cat Shit. West Side Gun. Keep voting against West Side Gun. It's Cat Shit for me. Yeah. Okay. I do West think that our sure. fans would pretty easily choose West Side Gun. Part of the Kool Aid Man one where Riley questions why he has to give to you. <laughs> I think so. Gun. Yeah. But I'm pretty I sure. think the Cat Shit one is funnier. I do too. The Cat Shit is like quintessential. That's like Riley. Like you do have IBS. Yeah, that's true. Mm. And that joke is like a real. I don't know. It just feels like real. <laughs> yeah. Like the West Side Gun is like, man, that was crazy. I pulled that one out of my ass in the moment. But I'm never going back. I might. I don't know. Really? I'm not going to rule it out, I guess. But it's not my bread and butter. Yeah. Yeah. I feel that. And cat shit, my friend, is my bread and butter. Because you can't have bread. I can't have bread <laughs> or butter. So <laughs> I'm cat shit. All right. Hey, you convinced me. I think that makes sense. I okay. hope that our I guess. fans understand. All I right. Think Sanders Bullock funnier, played but... in the NFL versus My Name's Dignan. This is clearly My Name's Dignan. Yeah. For me. My name's I think Dignan. it makes sense here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think so. You can pick Sandra if you yeah. want. I just like, don't I, don't pick something yeah. you don't want to pick. You know? I do love the punchline that bitch could run. I'm yeah. Hey, like I said, I'm going. My name's Dignan. I think it's it's a funnier thing overall. I think yeah. there's something really special about it. But I understand. Yeah. Also, the hindsight to blindside. Yeah, I don't know. The Sandra bit's got stuff in it for me. I'm I'm going there. Grant, what do you say? I'm taking Dignan. All right, and now we've got Steve-O impression versus Bob Dylan. Steve-O. Wow, tough. Eh, it's Steve-O for me. You think Steve-O. so? Yeah. Yeah, that makes me belly laugh. Like there's something that's the best impression on the show. It's just no, something really. about it was just crazy. <laughs> I agree. ESPN top ten plays versus killing your high school bully with a golf uh, club. I go top ten plays. God, this one's I might have to go golf club. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> I'll go top ten plays, but it is close. Just because I think the go premise club. of the high school bully thing is like one of the best premises on the show ever. The horse bit versus my still 13 foot horse bit. For me. It's easily the horse bit yeah. for me. The horse bit. <laughs> yeah, I wish we're different. I agree, but it's more creative. I feel like it's more about what's actually there. Yeah, that's true. That made people think about an idea, <laughs> yeah. you know? Like the idea that a horse could have that name <laughs> and, and, and what the consequences of that name to the announcer is so much funnier to me than my still 13 footer. Now we got CJ is addicted to blue cheese versus Kool-Aid summoning man. the Kool Aid. Definitely Kool Aid, man. <laughs> I gotta Definitely go Kool-Aid Kool-Aid and Perky. <laughs> You're going with CJ? I can't do CJ here. Nah. It's Kool-Aid man. Uh, Kool-Aid okay. man. The Kool-Aid, dude, pentagram made out of the powder, the blood, <laughs> he's merciless, he'll kill children. Like, all of that is just crazy to me. I don't know, Kool-Aid it's man. just Kool-Aid man easily. Grant, what is it? I'll take the, the, the Kool-Aid man. Yeah. Uh, cousin dying in my own arms versus Showtime Sweeney. Showtime Sweeney. Oh, oh, these definitely are two my Showtime favorite Sweeney. Sweeney. Yeah, this is tough. I think it's Cousins. I think so too. I think Showtime Sweeney is just a little bit, you know, announcer voice. It's us in our bag, our sports bag. Yeah, it's mm. an unlikely sports scenario with the announcer voice. You I know, think it's the best the sports one, though. factor of dying in your own arms. The way it just keeps going. Mm. And then when Eden and Graydon just wait. And then you go. 
my infant son. No. It's got it all. That one moves on. Sweeney, not gonna make it to the next I round. Can't I can't be mad at it. I can't okay, be we mad got, at it. Uh, Dignan sign spinning career versus four hundred ninety dollars or dinner with Conan. I'm gonna take the sign spinning one here, and I'm gonna take the Conan one. <laughs> I think Conan the, again. The sign spinning one is so unhinged. It's crazy. It's visual, but there's something so tight and weird about the four ninety Conan. The both options are ready. No, the four ninety with Conan felt like a real interaction, like just a genuine moment. You know what I mean? I like that, bro. <laughs> you have to make the decision yeah. now. It Grant, felt like he was really outside. Career. All right, we got an elite eight here. Okay. Cat shit versus my name's Dignan. Cat shit. God damn it. Dignan. Oh, it's funnier. It's Dignan. hard for me to choose that one. Dignan. Because it's like me versus you. Right. It'd be mm. easier to choose me if it was a bit. Like I said, I think the only bit in the Dignan origin is the pills beaming into me. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bit. Like the, there's yeah. no other yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. still laughing from uh, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> restrictions. It's like so, it's all encompassing. Yeah, I do say I eat at Petco. Yeah, and then I ordered the lemon pepper cat shit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and again, you love lemon pepper wings. That's like a real thing. Yeah, mm. I also say cat shit no bev. Yeah, cat shit. No yeah. yeah. that was that. funny. Oh, yeah. drink piss. All right, fine. I'll go cat shit. I I'll, guess. I'll go cat shit. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now we got Steve O impression versus top ten. Plays. Steve I go Steve O. Here. Steve O. Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm proud. Steve O. Okay. <laughs> Horse bit or Kool-Aid man? I go Kool-Aid man here because it's a complete bit. Executed perfectly, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. The other one, oh, I agree. Man. There were a few little missteps. He doesn't appear if you drink it. <laughs> yeah, I think it is Kool-Aid, too. Okay, Kool-Aid man. Fun. It should all been good horse names when I was doing the announcing. Yeah, mm. I call them, like, Hamburger 4000 or something. I go into, like, an online name instead of a mm. horse name. Well, this will peel back the curtain on that bit. So I remember how this all happened. So you <laughs> You started doing that bit, and like I kept in the original take of you saying the name for the first time. Yeah. But then you started doing a take where you were changing the name of the president one every single time, just by like you just like didn't remember exactly what it was. But the mm. other names that you came up with for the horses were bad. The other horses were better. But then I was like, dude, I hate to do this, but I think you have to redo yeah. that part because you didn't have the same name of the original horse. So I, it was yeah. like it was like kind of a constructed mm. one together. I think it ended up really funny. Yeah. But at the same time like it wasn't a one take perfect from the beginning mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. now we got cousin dying in my own arms versus dignan's sign spinning career i'm going with own arms i'm really pulling for two of your bets on opposite ends here hey i appreciate that I think sign spinning. Here you go. sign spinning is like classic dignan bro like you could i feel like you could understand who dignan is based on the sign spinning bit bro Uncle to be dying honest in my own arms <laughs> subsequently <Okay. laughs> subsequently it's funny yeah <laughs> i'll do it i think i think cousin dying all right final okay. four before we get into the fully into the final four, let us know what bits we left off. I'm sure mm. there's some bits that you remember from High Mind videos that you wish were in here. Mm -hmm. Remind us of them in the comments. Let's say we've got 15,000 likes on this one. We'll do another one. Okay. How about no. that? That's a lot of likes. 15,000 likes. We'll do another one of these with 64. Oh, yeah, they're definitely doing it. They're bits. definitely doing okay. it. Okay. First side, we've got Cat Shit versus Stevo. <sighs> Very different types of bits here. Yeah. These are different. I, I gotta go Steve-O because I feel like I'd watch this one again. Like, like if this came up with my recommended every day, I'd watch it probably every day. And there'd probably only be a few days where I just don't watch it. Sides know? of high. Is that good? I'm going cat shit. It's just an impression at the end of the day. That's true. That's cat true. It's hard to put an impression in the finals. Yeah, mm. like it is so one dimensional. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not I guess. guess. I feel that. Okay, I will go cat shit on this one, but I only guess. because I don't think that an impression alone should go to the final. Should go to the final. Mm. I totally agree. Understandable. I don't think that cat shit should either. <laughs> That's understandable. <laughs> Other side, we've got Kool Aid Man versus Cousin Dying in My Own Arms. Kool Aid Man. I think I voted against Kool Aid Man against everyone leading up to this, but through those, I've learned to appreciate it for what it really cool is. I think the Kool-Aid Man one is better. I think it's yeah. it's like the best, if not the best, one of the best unhinged made up story bits in Hive Mind history. Like yeah. it just keeps getting crazier and it never really And yet it feels like a Meat Canyon like video. Loses like it like feels kind of real. Like it yeah. always is finding new ways to be funny and I feel like Cousin Dying in My Own Arms is kind of reeled in. Although it is, it does 
build, it doesn't get unhinged or off the rails or anything, and I feel like Kool-Aid Man does. Fair enough. We have our final. All right, there's going to be a poll up. You guys vote on what your favorite hive mind bit is between these two, and then also make sure to let us know in the comments what your favorite hive mind bit is overall and ones that were left out so we can make a second one of these. What do you think? My heart's telling me it's cat shit. See, I knew I you would say that. I don't Kool -Aid think Man. it is. It's old school hive mind. Yeah, it's a poop joke, too, at the end of the at day. At the end of the it day, is. it is like a gross poop joke. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's so, yeah, it's but really coming rough. from my side, there's something that, like, I don't, I, don't, I don't let it go super vulgar, yeah. but when I do, it's like, I've earned that by being the one who's always against that, I yeah. guess. Mm. You know? I don't know. I think the Kool-Aid Man one is funnier because it's common knowledge that the Kool-Aid Man is like a task doer who also <laughs> gives you a blowjob <laughs> he does a task He's for like a, some you. some demonic spirit. It's a, sata a satanic ritual <laughs> that you're aware of and you're making fun of me for not knowing. Uh, I'm on the fence. I'm happy with either. I have to go Kool-Aid Man, bro. Alright, well, it's catch it for you. It's Kool-Aid Kool Man. Kool-Aid Man can play on Adult Swim at night, like fully animated and everything, bro. And for me, everything. so as with any good hive mind bracket, Gotta be Kool -Aid Brandon's Man, bro. going to decide. I'll take the Kool-Aid Man. Kool-Aid Man wins best hive mind bit. <laughs> the hive mind bits bracket. Exactly, right, exactly. Okay. Let us know what your winner it's is. Easily Let us know Kool -Aid what needs Man, to be bro. in here. We've released I think West Side, I think West Side Gun should have won. I think I have my West Side Gun should have won. Just because that one, like that one low key. It's gonna age the best. It's it's just gonna age the best. Like out of a lot of jokes, mainly because of how consistent West Side Gun is with his music. To where like I think about that almost every time I listen to any West Side Gun song. It doesn't matter what song it is. You know, because I'm aware of what's happening. A lot of I videos recently. Of the Feel free to fish through those and yeah. find your favorite bits because a lot of these have been around a while. That's true. We've been, this Bro. bracket's been solidified for some time. Go find your new Hive Mind favorites and let us know. Get us to 15,000 likes and we'll, we'll do a second one for we'll you. Run it back. Other than that, make sure you like the yeah. video, subscribe, video. all that stuff I said lie. in the beginning. Make sure you subscribe to Hive Mind Unlimited. We will be posting our shorts on there. And also, go to HiveMindTV.com. We will be posting our shorts on there. <laughs> Last <laughs> Do you want to give these wonderful people some Not advice really. to leave or live their lives by? A mistake repeated is a decision. All right, this has been High Vine TV. Love well, you, appreciate you, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you, man. Got push credits. Bullshit. Top right. Me? <laughs> oh, you. That's funny. <laughs> Am I right? Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right or what? I can't see it. <laughs> He put he put the XL sticker on like his like his zipper. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, that's funny. Yo. That's funny. It's like what's inside. You should put that on a spreadsheet. <laughs> oh, Excel <laughs> spreadsheet sheet. It's a, big, it's yeah. a big spreadsheet. Bottles, of, all sorts of bottles. <laughs> You're looking extra smooth today. Did you change your plastic surgeon? Yeah, I did. Nice. <laughs> I love the removal here. Yeah, the buckle fat. Yeah, the buckle fat. I love that. Is it buccal fat or buckle fat? I don't know, but your neck is snatched, <laughs> girl. <laughs> and I like it. That means a lot. It actually, I just haven't eaten in a few days. Wow. That's all it is. Serve it. Yeah, I mean. Well, don't serve it. Right, don't serve anything. Yeah, don't I don't want to eat it. Log her off. Log her off. That's when Hillary posted yeah. the Pokemon Go to the polls. Oh That's my yeah. god. Log yeah. yeah. her off. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, I still can't believe she still hasn't deleted the the happy birthday to this future president one. Like that one, that one's embarrassing to me every time I see it, bro. I, I see it like once every few months and it's just like, dude. But that was a good video. I'm gonna put them together before I upload it. So by the time like this is on YouTube and me saying that, you probably won't even know where the video was split, but whatever.